But like first time and like ten lessons is not bad. The first thing I want to do before we get going is I want to put Koiba on blast real quick. <laughs> Hell yeah, do it. Let's go. What? Take a, take a sip of your drink, Koiba. Take a sip of your fucking drink. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Do it the way you just did it. I don't know coward. how I just did it. Do I do it like this? Yeah, you fucking did. Yeah, you fucking oh. did. <laughs> yeah, you fucking did. Gonna, what what gonna... type of animal <laughs> does that? What is what is wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting... Do you want the short list or like itemized? Who who does that? I'm just a board. Hold on. Just... Wait, is my goat, and you can't talk to him like that. I can uh... do whatever the fuck I want, Quintany. No, no. Koiba's my goat. You can't okay, talk to now him like that. you make a good point. You make a good point. No mind. No mind. Yeah, my <laughs> bad. Hey, Koiba, I apologize, man. You drink your drink however you want. Hey, man. First it's the cake milk. thing, now it's this. God damn, I can't eat or drink properly, apparently. I'm just an Dude, animal. And that's crazy, because you're like the most posh Tory out of all of us, so you reckon you'd learn some kind of etiquette. Maybe speaking I'm just of, rebelling of against of the form things. because I'm not a Tory, so I'm just trying to, like, Speaking rebel. of eating things in Koiba, when did also we all just collectively agree to let Koiba fall down on his Koiba weird snack spit, and we all just, like, let it go and no one's called him on it? Because he oh. kept yelling. He kept yelling. It's because... It's, it's, it's poor. People kept on saying no shit, and then also, we were it got expensive. Like six years. <laughs> yeah, we were break for ages. True. So I like kind of got semi healthy, and now I'm like, I just realized something that we forgot so, that I forgot to think about is that the fucking mm -hmm. stat blocks are now one level behind. Oh yeah, the slideshow is not up yeah. to date. Slideshow is not up to date. It will be up to date next week, gang. I forgot. We have one more level. level. It's it is. I would say it's at least fifty percent my responsibility as well. Though. Well, it's I mean, like I forgot to remind you. I guess. I mean, it's completely fucked anyway. Who the fuck is Kess? True. <laughs> yeah, so the, the the slideshow was one level behind because the bard leveled up at the end of the last session, but we'll uh we'll we'll fix before next. It's Dude, no Bell hasn't played like since like level nine, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I had I I, call, I I called Bell after session last week to kind of have like a hey, this is what the party has a done, and then we kind of realized we haven't really done much since you left because we did like take like a three month no. break. So like she has in reality and... she hasn't missed that much. And we've had many sessions just be one day. Like, three sessions were, like, one day mm. in-game time. I'm so, Cass hasn't actually right? been gone for that yeah, long. Yeah, because Bell, Bell left right like, after the, the, the Ravenloft shit. Yeah. And for since context, then, you guys haven't been up to much. No. You know Literally, I mean? for context, because my body is in, like, Daigon's body is in Kess's vessel, right? It's still only been six days since Elazarin last cast Gentle Repose yeah. on it. So Kess only been kidding? gone for six days in it's game. It's been less than a week! Kess has been, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's... Yeah, but also, what happens if it's That's in the vessel and we go past a week? Oh, we're gonna find out. It's ten days. Gentle Repose has ten oh, days. That's the ten days. Yeah, but like, like I said, I'm not gonna fucking punish you for... So how do we nonsense. push five days really quickly? Well, no, it doesn't matter. When it shows, he says, meanwhile, we all know that Kess is now a changeling. It also doesn't matter because, like, we've got the robo body now, so the robo yeah, doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm less attached to I mean, it. I feel like it's like we could, like, have it as, like, a stuffed trophy or something, you know? But, um. No, excuse Daigo, you. we made you a new meerkat toy. It's you! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! It's that's a little so real life bad. body pillow. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, that's anyway. so gross. Hey gamers, it's Sunday. Welcome to Dungeon Select. Um, hey. <clears throat> sorry, I started that off in a weird order. I just saw Koiba do something weird and I had to call him out. Um, hey, what's going on? Hi. Y'all good? Y'all doing good? You guys are I good was week? actually until some fucking guy. <laughs> I wasn't asking you. I don't know how you got the impression I was asking you. But, um, you know, I wasn't, for the record. <clears throat> anyway. That's rough. Um, <laughs> um, it's Sunday. We're here to play D&D. Uh, last session ended on uh, an interesting note. So we're going to pick that up. Yeah. I'd say it's interesting. Would you Would you, Would you? you not? I'd say terrifying. That's boring, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Those are pretty much like synonyms. Same old, same old. Yeah, been there, done that, seen that before. Okay. Oh. Okay, no, fair enough. I'll, I'll, like, I'll didn't like they even the give us down. three or four <laughs> ancient dragons? I mean, mm, mm, easy. Mm. Keep going. When five the DM smiles, it's already too late. Well, so. Timon has five heads, so five Asian dragons uh. would add up, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Stop. Oh, wait, but, you know, Kess killed, like, three of them while she was gone. On her own, in the <laughs> plane of area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she had blue, you know, I in mean. Si in six days. You mean, yeah. I think yeah. you'll find, put some respect on his name, Rosemary the Fair. 
True. Yeah, bro. We keep, we keep calling him Blue, and Dutch keeps getting brain rot from it. Yeah, literally, <laughs> I forgot like the character's name because of the fact that we've all been calling him Blue. Because that's how that's Kess, Kess knew told him. Us yeah, his name yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. But um, it's in my head now. We got it. Um, yeah. Anything anyone wants to announce or say or or do before we uh slowly roll into uh, our last the recap. call of the Nether Deep episode will be up on my YouTube shortly. I know at least one, it'll get at least one view because Dutch has to watch it. Yeah, Sadly, Dutch it. was not there. Uh, we Damn. hopefully we did you just Fury one v one to Earth Elemental. F not kidding, it was a good time. You're fine, by the way. Fury's fine. He he he's a badass. But Fury one v one to Earth Elemental while you were gone. How does that work? <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, uh, <laughs> good right. job, dude. dude. dude yeah, that's all me, there. guys. That's my character, by the way. Would you say yeah. it was elementary? Um, <clears throat> okay. uh, so that'll be up on my YouTube shortly. Mm. And then our next Nether Deep session will not be, it'll, for sure we're, we're playing on March 9th. We may also play on March 2nd. We're waiting on confirmation on one of our players' plans because they might be uh, in a really, really cool thing, but there's a chance it gets canceled. So oh, right, right, for sure right. you'll see us again on March 9th, but you'll also maybe see us March 2nd yeah. for the next Nether Deep session. Yeah, I wasn't there the last night because I was out to dinner with family for my mama's birthday. How dare you? That took priority. Oh, temptation. After like a week of being like, there's no plans, there's no plans, there's no plans. Oh, by the way, there's plans. Yeah, and you're like, thanks, great. That's Thank family. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and my my streams this coming week, like last week, will also probably be very disrupted and disjointed and likely involve uh, making paper flowers on stream instead of playing video games because that's the purgatory I have put myself in for my I mean, wedding. you up to so. now? Well, I only have to cut out 158 more petals, and that's it. Aww. And then the cutting of petals is done, and then I can start... Assemb I'm going to actually start making some of the flowers on stream this week, hopefully. Have you kept a proper track of how many hours you've put into cutting up flowers? Uh, about 24 at this point. Jesus Christ. So yeah, streams Fucking this week hell. will be weird, weird times and likely involve arts and crafts instead of video games. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like you were ever good at video games, so... Exactly. So, as you know, we're not missing out. It's fine. No, no sock hand crafts? I Absolutely. suggested that, and she said... If, I, if I make all the flowers, and then I have extra, I will happily try and make one with sock hands just to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. But not until I get the good ones finished <clears throat> are we allowed to risk fair that. Enough, fair enough. All right. Uh, anyone else have anything that they want to throw out there? No, other than happy Valentine's Day chat. I know it's early, fuck but we won't off. see you. Fuck off. I hate oh, this I guess you guys aren't chat, that, so fuck up. On that note, just because there's um he's been a guest on Dungeon Select Force, it's kind of relevant. Uh James and I have now been together for seven years, which is crazy. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. I know. Did you like right? marry that guy or something? Put up with a lot. I should yeah. have. How does yeah. it feel to have a relationship yeah. that's healthy and has worked for so long? The rest of us need some notes. Such a, we don't know the whole background, bro. Because <laughs> we're struggling over here. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, okay. All right. Let's tell us how you really feel, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear what Duke said because y'all talked at once, so I don't even know what, what went down. I just need a lobotomy. Oh. Oh my god. That's so cute. Makes you want to toast a bathtub. But you'll lose your sparkle. Dude, imagine how sparkly I'll be with no frontal lobe. Oh my god. No, but you're so sexy. Please don't have a lobotomy. Haha. Shut up. Shut up. I don't need you pulling out that shit. Um. All right. asked, Craig. I think we're good. I think we're good. I asked. I asked, Goat. Don't worry. All right. Let's, uh. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's reel it in. Let's get to our if, death already, chop let's, chop. let's get to it. Um, I mean, if, as unless anyone has anything right? they want to share, like funny snack bit, weird dreams, by all means. If not, then we'll, uh, we'll fall <laughs> into, uh... I have iron brew. I have Campari and tonic. Dude, I have Fancy slider. Bitch. I have oh. air. Yeah, air. I got, I got that. Uh, Oxygen. I have the real I got that adult beverage. Air, baby. The real yeah. adult beverage, water. Thanks so water. Freedom. Boring. What? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, let's go. Oh, no, no water bottle. <laughs> no, no water bottle. I hate you both so much. We're dying to dragons today, boys. <laughs> we really are.
All right. Tuesday. So, uh, with all that said, uh, last we left off, the party ventured into the mines near Alphadil, accompanied by Grodir. On the way down, the party found a mural depicting what looked like the party, accompanied by elemental lords, at the meeting that they're supposed to have in the you know in the future. In the distance, a five-headed dragon leading a charge of other dragons was seen, and the large five-headed dragon was accompanied by someone that looked a lot like Brooks. Upon touching the mural, the Lazarin had a vision of the summit, seeing the dragons ambushing them while they were having their meeting. This felt like a vision of a future that has yet come to pass. It felt like a like a you know like they you basically the feeling you had was this is not a dream. This is something that is going to prophecy. happen. A prophecy. There it is. Uh, venturing on, you were tested in a fight with three earthen golems and eventually met Grumbar, the earthen lord himself. Using Grodir as his speaker, um, <clears throat> you guys conversed about the future and the Lazarin's ties to him, and he also handed Lazarin something that could potentially cure uh, the somewhat madness that overcame some of his relatives uh, by accidental contact with uh, Grumbar. Um, you were also given an artifact, um, which, I don't know, does some cool shit. You know, it's not, uh, basically I'm punishing Koiba for being able to fly all the fucking time. Uh, by <laughs> forcing him to stay on the ground, <laughs> to use all the cool to shit. To do something else has. cool, but he has to be on the ground. But you know while. what's funny is now, Lazarin's grounded, but now I can fly. True. Uh, <laughs> you're cool, great, but like... <clears throat> I can fly. Um, I can fly now. When you decided it was time to return to Eldilon, you ventured back to Alphadil, disguising yourselves and using the teleportation circle at the Arcane Guild to teleport back. And when you did, you appeared in uh, Tranliel's home, the, uh, the home of the Empress Emissary, and you heard commotion coming from outside, felt, feeling the ground shake. And when you looked through a window, you saw that two dragons, a black dragon and a green dragon, were assaulting Eldilon. As you all gather yourselves, you uh, you kind of the realization set setting in of what is currently happening outside. What do you want to do? Fucking panic, and then right. run away. <laughs> right. Um. We should probably. Uh, who's the most important one? We need to find Brooks, your brother, Celesty. I will also cast sending um to Brooks's brother. Okay. Before you do that, yeah, or please. while you're casting it, I'll also tell yeah. Brooks, because he was carrying, I believe, ob like, gesture to the robo-body and, like, obviously leave that behind. We'll come back for it. Like, that is, that'll encumber us far too much to get the fuck out of here. I'll make the effort to, like, nicely prop it against the wall. Leave something. it just, like, prop okay. Yeah, so <laughs> right right now you're currently in, like, this, 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 this separate room in, you know, you've been in this house plenty of times, but mainly you've been in... You've been in this room once to get transported to, um... We're in our new house, right? No, you're no, in, in, we're in oh. the MSRs. You're house. in... Oh, the, fuck. Like, where, oh. Also, where all the council meetings and stuff are also all being held. Okay, well, yeah, we'll still leave the body there for now. Um, so right now you're in this, like, side room that is specifically designed to have a... You know, to teleport uh, people to yeah. and from. Um, there's not much else in this room except for a window that overlooks, and you can kind of see these... These two large dragons, one spraying down poison gas onto the streets, and the other one just belching up just these, these bubbles of acids, just serious, just singeing, mm. kind of burning through uh, some of the structures nearby. And you can see uh, one of the two dragons, the black dragon, just kind of landing on top of some rooftops in the distance, which you reckon is the trade district, given your orientation, and just kind of landing on some roofs, collapsing some of the buildings, and just, like, wreaking havoc. Wreaking absolute fucking havoc. Uh, you're casting Sending? Uh, to whom? Uh, sending. Um, Brooks's brother, whose name is, fucking escapes me because it's been a Yorin. billion years. Norin. That's, Yorin. that's the one. <laughs> um, I like making hard names for, like, It's not even about hard names, I just got to shit to memory for everything <laughs> in this know. campaign. Okay. Much look um, near the way that I'd spell it. Yeah. Uh, I will just say, um... Where are you? Is there an evacuation? Um, how can we get to you? Um, it takes a couple seconds before you get a reply, but eventually you get a reply. Okay, good. Safe for now. With Celesti, <gasps> Fira, 
and Captain Blackpaw headed to a ship to get out. I will just say that straight back to them. Um, look, they're going on a ship. To the um, docks, then. Going straight to the docks. Is there anyone else? And on that note, start. Can um, well, I see your sword real quick? My your sword. Rapier. My rapier, of course. And I will pass him my rapier warning. Hello, hello. Sorry. Oh, Fuck. He's gonna yawn. Oh. Nice. Um, I'm gonna pull out one of my like mechanical spiders that looks a little more heavy duty and is glowing slightly. Um, and just attach it to like the pommel oh, of your uh, rapier. Ooh. And you can now cast Cure Wounds at level 2 for 10 times a day. Whoa, shit. Okay. Fucking or a fucking long rest, yeah. technically, but... I mean, uh... Question, also, we... Because we leveled up, but we haven't long rested, right? Correct. So we don't, we're not at full health still. You're okay. not at full so health. I'm, I'm at, okay, I'm at 42 yeah. hit points. I mean, not, not at full health, okay. but, we've got, but we've got all the abilities that we yeah, have. Yeah, you have access I to all will... the shit. You just haven't yep, yep. fully rested. Wait, you gotcha, got, gotcha, gotcha. You guys got new shit? <laughs> I mean, I will. I will fuck it at this point as well. well. What did you end up going with, by the way, Duke? Uh, level wise. Uh. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> 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 What's your current split on levels? Seven uh, yeah. four. So you, you went warlock then? I think I went ranger. I think I went ranger. I think he's already what, got four. Already I think he got stat boost. Warlock? I think he got think so. the boost yeah. for. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, how long does that take, uh, Jax, for that for you to do that? Um, <clears throat> technically, it'd be uh, normally I'd do it over a long rest, but um, we Is did like... say that we could use things. Yeah, well, yes, but like, how long does the act of actually like fitting it onto the blade? You want me to read that to you? Yeah, read it out to me. Okay. Yes, please. It's like the fact uh, that you have access to your new abilities, like, doesn't mean that we're gonna. Well, that, that's why correct. I asked earlier this week, and you said yes when I <clears throat> phrased it my way. So I was. Then that's why I, I Got it. had confusion. Okay. Well, I phrased it the normal way. I don't know. Okay, well, just, just read it out. Read it out. Uh, when I'm feeling a long rest, you can store a first or second level artificer spell that requires one action to they cast are. in a simple okay. or martial weapon. I'll say. Okay, 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 okay. But like the actual time. Okay. I'll say that because you leveled up. You have access no. to this ability because yeah, it just you know, you have access to this ability. That's fine. Uh, yeah. It's not like a, you have to long rest before it happens because you gain all the benefits from your level up. So that inc includes access to new abilities and shit. So no, that's fine. I was just wondering like right. this the actual act of you putting can, it. On yeah, the you blade. can spend. Oh, I'd probably take like you know a couple minutes maybe. Like, if it's just like as simple as it takes. Just look at that. Make sure it's secure on your shit. You know. Totally. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say that you you do that because you're you know your magic is more. You know, you're an artificer, so your your magic kind of gets just gonna guised into this. Thing. You know, you're actually physically fitting something on the blade, kind of thing. Yeah. Does it? Oh, just um, a quick question as well. Does it use my spellcasting modifier for kill wounds, or is it your based on yours? Using my spellcasting modifier of plus five. Oh. Uh, it's the I'm same. I'm assuming that's like an attack, though. It's the it's the same as mine. Plus five is the same as mine. How would it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, so yeah, the D, the two D eight plus five. Oh, excellent. All right. Um. So we'll say that you 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 do that for a few minutes, and you begin to hear. Uh, actually, I don't know. Make a perception check for those that aren't so. Jax and and Elazarin. We'll say that your guys yeah, are, are kind of shit. occupied with that. The rest of you make a perception yeah. check. I'm not good at these. Uh, twelve. Well, I'm not that bad. I hope. He's got his fucking dice out, mate. Eight. Mm-hmm. Uh. Go on eight. 20. 30, 20. So 12, 8, and 20. <clears throat> uh, Davian. Uh, yeah. You're the only one that hears this. Because it is quite faint through, you know, through the door. Uh, but you do hear some shuffling and, and, and some... Some, some hasted movement. Uh, shuffling through, like, what you reckon is, like, the hallway on the other side of the door. Of the room that you're in. Do I know what this door leads to? Yeah, you're. You, yeah, this is. You know that you're in the Tranliel's house, in like where the council yeah, meetings yeah, yeah, are. But... So you know that this door just leads to like a corridor, a hallway, in, in said house. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just. Is it? Can I open the door? Yeah. I'll just open the door and call out like, "Hello." 
Uh, as you do that, do you kind of like peep, poke your head out, or do you just open the door? Yeah. And... Well, no, <laughs> I'll, no, I'll stay behind the door, like open it. Okay. And kind of shout around it. Hello. And you recognize oh. the voice to be uh, Tranil, the Empress emissary. It's the uh, <clears throat> it's the it's the rag ragtag fuckwits here. And she immediately comes, like, running down the hall, and you can see that she's carrying these two uh, rather large bags, and there's, like, paperwork point, poking out of them, and she's she's packed up all the essentials, and, and she kind of, like, bursts... Not bur doesn't burst through the door, because it's open, but kind of, like, bursts into the room. You have impeccable timing. We're heading to a ship. No, you're not. No? Hey, excuse me? Those two, pointing out the window, came with a warning. They're here for you. All of you. Oh! You are not going outside, you're coming with me. If, you're, if your friends are being evacuated, they'll be safe. The rest of the council is, is leading the evacuation. I, I know Black Bar has a, a fleet of ships that, is, that are being filled with as many civilians as, as they can they'll be safe you we you are the most important asset we have you're coming with me wouldn't that put you in danger she'll she open she puts her hand in a pocket and and takes out this like glass bauble i've got a direct way out and you're coming with me Oh, it's a pocket portal. She's I'll, a pocket just, portal. I'll, I'll just look around at the gang. I mean, would Jax be done at this point now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, just after that is done, I'll sort of look and I would like to attempt a divine intervention. Okay. Oh, how long will it take? Oh, uh, it's an action. Okay. What do you have to complete? What do you have to roll? I have to roll, I have to roll percent I dice yeah. and I have to roll an 11 or lower. Yeah, so right. One, one. I have just rolled the tens, and it's hit a ten. I have to roll a one or a double oh. zero. Don't fuck it up. Seventeen. It's a seven. Oh, it's a seven. Okay. It's a seven. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I shot myself for a second because I thought it was a one, one. and I was like, oh. oh. Okay. I would like to also know. I did a little practice roll just to like see what the roll was like, and I hit a double o eight, and I want to kill myself. <laughs> so I've just okay. So there. you um. Yeah, so you kind of try to reach out to... Um... Ah, wait, 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 wait. Isn't a 008 an 8? Yeah, but that yeah, was but not the yeah, roll. That was before was he said it was the roll. That was like, oh, right, right, before right, I did the roll. Right, right, I was right. just like rolling the dice to see what the... You know, you feel the roll, you know that thing. It just saw its double. <laughs> I was like, of course. So you, you try to, to reach out to Joaquin yeah. and you don't get a response. You reckon it might be because obviously the city is very large. There's a lot of... Mm -hmm. Merchants and that, that sort of thing. There might just be a lot of people trying to, you know, shooting prayers. A lot of motherfuckers. Are lot, a lot of people right are trying to reach out to to their yeah, that number. That number deity. is on like your yeah. number seven thousand eight hundred thirty. Exactly. No, no. So unfortunately, <laughs> uh, there is no response. Um, your call is very important. Hold it to us. Literally, <laughs> literally my job, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah. True. No, you, Except um, you don't give a fuck about those callers. I mean, oh, shit. So I got a death. I got a. I got a death wish the other day. It was funny. It was great. <gasps> oh, rude. Yeah, it was wild. Basically, I'll. I'll we'll get back into it. We'll basically, you, I mean, what it was dog. was, customer hadn't paid energy bill for six months. I told her, you've had ample warnings. It's at like a you know. It's at a fucking um. What's the English word for people that are? It's at a debt collector's office now. Good luck. Mm. And then I got an email back saying, well, uh, I hope you die. So that was cool. <laughs> that was very cool. Yeah, it was your fault they didn't pay their electricity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, anyway. If only they yeah. hadn't bought so much cheese. <clears throat> anyway. Um, so you can see Tramiel, she's been... She, she looks kind of like a little, little bit frazzled. Hastily hastily packed her, packed her things. But when she when she was looking at you and saying like you are the most important asset we have, we cannot afford you to go out in the streets, especially because with the message saying that these dragons are here for you specifically, um, she like you don't you don't need the high insight to understand that she is dead serious. She will not allow you to go out in public right now. Oh shit! So we have well, to. That just makes me want to do it more. Does, where does that lead us to? Where are, we, where, are you, where are you taking us? A safe place. 
that, that needs a bit I'm, more information than that. Really There's a lot like of you, you don't you don't know a lot has happened recently. Would like to know exactly where I'm going. Uh, I'll be I, honest. So, can I? Can I? Can I? No, yeah, can no, 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 no. Can I? Can I use a charge? A two charges of my night web detector. Two charges. Yeah, because two. Sorry, I was, I, was thinking, I was thinking the one charge option is just a, like a bandit charge. Right, like use two charge. charge. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, you can, you can. Yeah. Two charges. Uh, okay, while they're and you can also roll like, inside really while you're like at it. Really would like to know. Yeah, they're like we really like to know where we're going. I'm gonna activate that because watch this be a changeling. It's like yeah, eighteen. Gonna, gonna take us right there. Eighteen. We were ties to these um, changelings. I... They're an illusion. And I rolled a 17 on my insight while I activate it as well. Uh, no, your your uh, night web detector doesn't go. You know, there's no that she's she is not a night. No dangling. No That's dangling. good. That's good. Um, as far as insight goes, like I mean, she is genuine. There's there's no need for her. You know that you don't sense any any weird secrets. She'll just look at you all and and say. This takes us to the Empress. This has become no. bigger than all of us now. I would do, see, don't have to to say something. No, we don't know that. We don't know that. You guys don't know that. The previous party knows, but uh, you guys don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know that. Say that's going to be a real good conversation later. Dragon Trey, actually. <laughs> Whatever. Dude, I don't speak pig Latin. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I, I don't still, speak to pig. this day, have no idea how that works. I'll be honest. <clears throat> it's not hard. Right. Um, have Great. you reached out to the people in the city that you care about? Are they safe? I say they're safe. The people that we have, well, the person, people, you know. like, people, they, they, they it talk to them. There's a lot of people we know here. It would take you Wait. a long while to. Do we know if Siren's in the city? I think she, she left before we. She left. If we left, we did. I, I, like the same day that we left, she went back to her people. I have fucking racist spells on that bitch. Am I right, guys? Like out of character, there's like a bunch That's of. That's where we run into. There's like Owen at the friendly yeah. giant. There's Cav. There's yeah. Rikito. There's, you know, there's many. Yeah, we can't care about everybody. We right? don't care about them, honestly. <laughs> out, out of character, are we gonna sit here for the next forty minutes while while Koivin messages everyone? I'm not gonna do like. Three he hasn't had that many five. special slots. Yeah, I was gonna say. Just ask. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> if they can um, make their way to the docks, if if they they'll be all right. There's a fleet of ships um, <clears throat> waiting to to bring them to to Keldala, to the nearest port, which will be in Thermogar. Um, they'll be safe there for the time being. We just need to get you out of here and put some trust in us that will. Make sure that everyone that boards those ships will arrive safely away from this. We're losing Aldilon today, but we'll, we'll take it back. And for now, we just need... I, I need you to come with me. And with okay. that, she throws the pocket portal on the ground and this portal... Kind of emerges and what you see through the portal is you see this quite spacious living room a uh, large fireplace and some some large couches kind of like seated around this this uh coffee table and and she steps through yeah step through after i'll make sure yeah, goes through first is jack okay, just, i just kind of like you know just like you know make sure <laughs> make sure all the kids all the little you know a little key has to get through the portal, all right? Okay. No, I'm kidding. I go through. And then I don't go through. Mm -hmm. Thank God for that. Okay. It wasn't Jax. It wasn't Brooks on the dragon this entire time. Yeah, it was actually Jax. Right. Are you actually not stepping through? No, no, I'm stepping through. Sorry. Fuck, dude. Like, oh, when he's <laughs> out, twist. don't take anything he says seriously. I'm taking them all on by myself. Jax is gonna one v two the dragon. He pulls out the red dragon and be like, "I'm one of you." Jax is gonna be like, "Listen to your elders." Um. Okay. Like so a you mechanical all, one of you out of nowhere. You all step through? Question mark. Yes. 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 All right. And into the lair of the night <laughs> uh, When you step through the portal, uh, you appear in this large living room. Uh, like I said, with with uh, all these couches, you can see. On the, on the left side of the room, there's these glass sliding doors that lead out to a large garden with a bunch of larger-than-life plants and a little greenhouse. 
Um, and you are met by two figures. First one, a tall uh, figure, uh, long golden hair, golden eyes. You all recognize this to be Empress Thalmar. Uh, definitely seen her before. Just uh, well, I've seen her before. Not maybe you've not met, but you know what Such the Empress looks like. Name. Didn't we see her literally the first episode? Because there was a parade. Oh yeah, the there Empress was like the, the, the like project, the, like astral yeah. projection type beat. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, it wasn't yeah. actually her, but yeah. Yeah, and I swear at the end of the like astral projection, she was like, "Oh, I'm a dragon, by the way." No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, That's pretty much like no, the big you secret. Got, you got a seducer for that. And along with her, you see a tall, older-looking blue dragon boy. There, let's go. <clears throat> Um, He's still so, alive, so everyone kind of, um, still... you all kind of gather yourselves, um, and you are in, I mean, you don't know where you are. All you see is this living room and that this, this, uh, glass door to the outside. There's some greenery, uh, and a garden, but, um, Eva. Yeah. All right. Welcome. I see that, um, they finally arrived. Safe. Good to, uh. Good to know I'm, I'm the cool spark bolt. This is um, my my guild, my guild house. Um, you know the em the empress and the embassy have uh, told me a little about what's going on. Um, the night webs and the draconic ties and you know, uh, this it, you're safe here. We've got a lot of business you, to get uh, down to. Look like might know a thing or two about draconic ties. I have my fair share. And you could, you know, no, no need to worry about anything to, uh, with, with my ties are. I'm deep connection with Chromatus. So. Uh, who's that? Oh, he's the, um, younger brother of Bahamut. Platinum Dragon, uh, really good. You know, one of his main sort of, uh, So they exist too, is what you're saying. Oh, what, Dragon Gods? Yeah. I'm um, his, like, main... Sort of guardian of his realm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Been there a few times, some not by choice. Just lean over and whisper to Brooks. So does every god just have like a human person to like do shit for them? Human person. Like, human like, person. Humanoid. 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 Humanoid mortal person. You're asking the wrong fucking person. Question Cause about I'm, religion. Because I'm seeing a pattern here. Like th they just don't. Apparently they can't do shit for themselves. Also, because he doesn't regard out, out of character, but we, we <laughs> less, well than, less than an hour ago, we had like a, a conversation about me being linked to horrible things. So, wrong person to ask. I'm sure you're fine, Brooks. <laughs> Please, oh. it's gonna be hell for me. It's gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> my world. Just kill <laughs> one of them off. Oh, true. Uh, both at the same time. Fuck. <laughs> they both stab each other um, immediately. Cool old age. So, Tranliel will, will kind of pipe up and, and say, um, obviously, everything you've done for us, I have had to communicate to the Empress. And the Empress and uh, Nicole, um have a very uh, uh, tight relationship when it comes to working together. And Wait. seeing as this guild uh, that he leads got sanctioned by the Empress, um, so there's been a lot of research done in, in your absence on, on the night webs, and um, we've learned a thing or two about these dragons and who they are, and then she kind of looks at Nicole. You want to uh, own them? Right, yeah. So, um, Chromatish showed me um, the night webs. <clears throat> connection to the dragons and specifically to uh tiamat um if you don't know evil dragon goddess of the hells five heads five heads yeah see you're with it look at that i don't need to explain we've, that bit we've huh? seen some paintings yep yeah just step there already uh so we know as well that she's got five generals it seems to be maybe one for each head of hers uh just keep it on theme, I guess. Uh, but without them, they sort of keep the whole armies together. You know, they're sort of the 
the big guns that keep every all the sort of riffraff of dragons sort of united. So, uh, from what I've been hearing, you've had you've maybe seen the uh, the the black dragon uh, Nazarg. Crawl takes Persian bringing death anywhere she goes. Just just fucking levels the place fully. Horrible piece of work. And then also the green dragon bricks off. Manipulative. He's only loyal because there's, you know, land. There's, you know, there's a little deal going on with that one. So it seems maybe one to sway or at least might be a, be able to, to sway them, but not 100%. Then they've got their blue dragon, Death Jaw. He's the newest recruit, but seems like... One of the most loyal, like wants to prove himself really well, you know, Death really jaw? wants to... Death Jaw. Nice. Seems to really want to like prove himself. So bit of a loose cannon, I think, and seems to be, you know, definitely one to watch out for. And you got the white dragon <coughs> pale cutter. He likes hunting his prey. And sort of from what I've read, he seems to play with his food a bit more than he should and prefers stalking them and messing with his the people he's hunting rather than actually killing them straight off. So, I don't know if that makes him nastier or stupider, but definitely some fucking nasty shit there. And then the last one. Dangerous of them all. This is one. Red Dragon. We know her as the Butcher. Greedy monster. Most trusted general of Tiamat. Deadly of them all. Not much is known because there's not been many reports of seeing this one and surviving. So, don't know past that. So, I've... It's all we've sort of read, got so far, because can't get too close, then they start, you know, cutting ties to anyone that we know. Gonna, but it's going to be a hell of a mission. I'm going to name and recheck on the white dragon. <laughs> the white? The white dragon? Pale like, cutter? Pale yeah, cutter. Yeah, pale cutter. Yeah. I just wanted to check, because yeah. I cannot type and think. Uh, Mr. DM. Hello. Being a man who has lived a long life, too and who will be a little <laughs> bit of a history guy, <laughs> Would there be anything that these names would bring to mind that was not mentioned? Mm, make a make a history check. I'm Loki homies with these guys. <clears throat> yeah, like you've actually got this whole time. Brooks has got these five rings on, like ones of each color, and it's like on the oh, initials. <laughs> he's got them on speed now, bro. All right, like big old fucking <laughs> back tattoo of just all these dragons. <laughs> he's like, hello. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 24. 24? Um, well, obviously there's a lot of stories about dragons just showing up and ransacking the place, but you being a bit of a history buff, you know that, um, the Butcher, that nickname, that, that moniker you've heard before, uh, when you read about the initial like war against the dragons, when this, when this land was created... She was there. Oh, she old. Oh, <laughs> ancient. Oh, she. Oh, she's like ancient, ancient. She is... But even for an ancient, she old. <laughs> yeah. True. She was there, um, mm -hmm. and she led the dragon armies back then. Oh. So, like, that is a name that you've heard before, and the fact that she's still around and still just ad even deadlier than she was back then is worrying. Guys, we gotta find a new cotton to go to. Um, I think we just cut our, cut our losses. Mm -hmm. run. At this point, uh, the Empress has just been standing there, quiet, uh, but, in, but she now also kind of uh, butts in. We've been tracking these five monsters, and we know that three of them reside on this plane of existence, and two don't. I know we ask a lot of you, but you are on your way to be our greatest weapon against the Nightwebs and the Draconic Leaders. You need to stay on this path. Aldilon may be lost for now, but we'll worry about that later. We'll take it back. The rest, rest of the council is there to make sure as many people get out as possible. They will seek refuge in the, the nearest town or port town you can get to, most likely up north in Thumagar. And we'll make sure that we'll arrange airships to go pick them up to transport them here. Uh, if you have a list of names of people that you would like us to fast track, to get them to here to safety in Kalzir. Uh, we can definitely arrange that. There's already airships on the way there. All it takes for me is to send one message and they'll be on the first airship back once they arrive in a few days. 
Other than that, <clears throat> these five dragons need to die. In order for the draconic armies to crumble, these five generals need to be taken out. Tiamat will not be able to wage war against the elemental forces if her armies are being torn out from under her. Which is why it's a lot, but you are right now the only hope we have. Your knowledge and your experience when dealing with the Nightwebs and your connection with the elemental forces will more likely than not prove pivotal in turning the tide of this war that we're now actively in. This war was already brooding and being fought behind the scenes, but this dragon attack on Eldilon, we're at war, officially now. And that dragon attack will not be the last, unless we put a stop to them. I know <clears throat> you already have a lot on your plate, there's other things that you're supposed to be doing. All I ask is, put this on the list of things to do. I understand that you need time to think, to, to, to maybe tie off other things, or, or perhaps just just kind of let it all sink in, and I'm more than I understand. All I ask is, put this on the list. We the two you. that don't live on this plane of existence, <clears throat> do you know which plane they're on? Yes. We know one of them, so if you didn't, we could help, but you all seem to already know what two planes. Well... The black dragon, Nazark, resides on this plane. This one lives in the swamps of Udrana, across Lake Udina, back up in Agrind. Um, I believe you have some history at that lake. It's uh, the, the, the province across from it. It's a large, swampy sort of region. That's where black dragon, Nazark, resides. The green dragon, Rixoth, resides in a place you've already visited. Hidden. Hidden in the Whispering Woods to the north in Sagalia. We've, tra we've tracked them to there, which is a bit daunting, knowing that one, well, two of them reside on this continent, because the blue dragon, Deathjaw, created a home here in the expanse within the cataclysm which is right next to her. the white dragon pale cutter resides in the elemental plane of air hidden away and lastly the butcher she resides somewhere in the elemental plane of fire already actively fighting Kusuth's forces whatever you need whether it be resources, a place to lay low, ingredients to make brews or potions, materials to craft weaponry, name it and the Empire will provide it. But you need to take the fight to these dragons when the time comes. The dollar signs is Jax's eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> we will remain here for a while longer to discuss things. For now, um, I understand that you need space to think about things, talk things over, catch your breath. Feel free to venture into the city. Um, We've lost to discuss anyway, so by all means, take a well-deserved break. If you need a place to stay or sleep, there's bedrooms up. There's guest rooms upstairs for you, prepared. And um, give me some time, and I can provide you with a more permanent base of operations here in the city. We're just clearing out this this space as we speak. So give us give us some time. But for now, if you need anything, feel free to ask. Um, but I fully understand if you need a moment. But we'll be down here discussing things. Um, we had to leave behind, um, we, we had maybe worked on, um, making a new body for me, since, you know, I'm, I'm not, not quite, uh, corporeal per se. Um, and he's, he's the one who's working on that, points at Jax, um, so we might need some supplies to help replace that because the one that we were going to use is maybe melted in acid. Well, you took. You, did you not take it with you when you uh, teleported? We left it in Tranliels. We did not specifically say that we picked it back up to bring it with well, us. 
I would imagine we would. With a portal being have... yeah. accessible for you right there in that same room. Oh, okay. We, we all have I would imagine. Yeah. Okay, then we'll yeah, just drag Dutch it isn't going to be like, <laughs> you didn't say the yeah. character shits today. You died. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's check it. You can, you can, you can okay. have taken that with you. Yeah, that, that scared me for a second too, Laura. So I was like, oh, wait. We, we <laughs> you could have taken, you could have taken that with you easily. Because the portal okay. Okay. If we hadn't brought it from Alpha Deal, then that's... I thought the pocket portal had limited uptime, and that's like heavy to drag through. I didn't want anyone getting like bisected as the portal closed. I mean, I got, we're like... We got enough strength around here too. I don't okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. If Never you need mind. any, any supplies to, to to fix that thing up, uh, I'm sure we can help you help you help provide it for you. At least point you in the right direction. The city itself offers a lot of things and and shops to the, that sell more. Well, you'll see. The bazaar is quite interesting. Yeah, if you need anything specific, let me know. Um, you all look like you could use a rest. So I suggest you retire to do that for now. So are we in Kel Kelsier? You're in the are guild hall of the, of the, you know, you're in, you're so in the guild hall. So we're just outside Kelsier, technically. <laughs> yeah, you're just outside Kelsier. Unless Heroes they've expanded. Of our guild hall. <laughs> yeah, okay, the, I was, thought, I was just checking. Guild hall. Just checking. I Wait, does that mean there's a massive burning bush in that garden? I was well, say, I did describe this glass sliding door <laughs> that leads to a very large garden with very large plants. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get so fucking high. Um, <laughs> bro, you don't know the extortionate rate that we fucking charge for this premium. Yeah, but that's because Trim's like, <laughs> like it's good shit. Once yeah, you are all real good shit. ready to yeah. kind of discuss somewhat of a plan going forward, or or have things that you would like me to provide you with just just come find me i'll be either here or in my home in the city before she's even like finished i'm like i need a gem encrusted bowl <laughs> with gem <laughs> that's worth about a thousand gold i'll see what i can do <laughs> thank you <laughs> if you can get many that would be amazing <laughs> I... Yeah, as much as I want to help, I doubt that I can afford thousands of gold paid in taxes to be spent on this. Um, what are my taxes used for? Yeah, what, what the? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I've been fucked by sales tax for the past. I understand <laughs> the need is very high, but uh, there's only so much I can do without. Oh, no, I understand. It was a, it was a <clears throat> bit of a, you yeah. know. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Get rid of the damn potholes, man. <laughs> yeah. Why is there a pothole here? Um but yeah, you are all you've had a long you've had a you've had quite the day. So the exhaustion does kind of like creep in a little bit. Uh, the adrenaline of, of witnessing what you just witnessed kind of begins to wear off and you're all you're all feeling a little a little EP. I hate that word. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, so Nicole, uh, Tranliel, and Thalmar kind of begin kind of huddling and discussing things and kind of leave you to your own devices for now. I'm immediately going outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, as you step outside, Brooks, what you see is just this, well, you're still at, like, there's this, this entry kind of, like, plaza to this guild hall with, like, this tall wall, but you can see beyond it just desert and, um, to the, you know, a little bit further on, you can see uh, the walls of a very large city, and inside, like, out, you know, taller than the walls in the distance, you can see all these these rooftops of all kinds of different buildings, uh, different shapes and sizes, kind of you, peering peering from above, peering at you from above the, uh, the city walls. Um, it's hot, it's quite warm, compared to uh, uh, up north. Uh, the sun is very bright, um, even though it's not evening or night yet, you are all pretty fucking tired, but, uh, yeah. When, when there, that kind of adrenaline yeah. wears off, you just, like, crash. Collapse. Yeah, exactly. Is there anything of interest in the plaza? Um, there's a couple smaller structures. You can see uh, a pretty large, like, outdoor training ground. You can actually see uh, a couple of these, like, wooden training dummies and some younger looking... Uh, uh, people kind of practicing uh, sword fighting and, and that sort of thing on these dummies uh, all wearing <clears throat> uh, similar clothing you reckon 
like these might be recruits for this guild and they're just training or, or whatever. Uh, you're not sure. Okay. Uh, how high is the wall around the plaza? Fuck me, dude. How, how, how tall is a wall? Uh, you know, tall average... Tall well, probably 15 it feet. It depends. 15 feet's a good wall. Said it's a high wall. Just like how the high? average, you know, like like castle wall type, type vibe. Okay. Oh. I'm climbing up it and I'm putting the high in high wall. Make a. Were well, you climbing up it? Just you're just gonna try and scale it, or you're gonna look for a way to properly get up there to the walkway. No, fuck it. I'm just gonna literally like climb up it. Fuck everyone, and everything. Make a make an athletics check. I'm good at those. Wait, can't you run up vertical surfaces yet? No, no, maybe. Don't think so. I don't remember what monk level that is, but I don't think I have that yet. It's it's irrelevant. I rolled a thirty-three because I got an yeah. Okay, you're fine. So while Brooks is doing that, what's everybody else? Uh... So we should probably get started on the list of people first. No. Oh yeah, the list of names. Tell her. Brooks, Brooks's brother. Just because that's slightly important. Yeah, and, and Celesti. I'm the names of the council, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. That mm -hmm. being just passes out. Um, is there anyone that we really want besides Mira, Celestia, and Doran? Uh, you tell the members of the council. I, I, I mean, I, I, maybe I was like we should put some names of. Crimson Lotus, but they're pretty <laughs> capable. They're pretty organized. They they probably got the fuck out of there. I don't think they need help. They're probably fine. So they they probably absconded quite quickly. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if they were taken completely unaware. You know, because they have a goddess like working with them, and they know Poor everything. <laughs> Do gods they... know everything? No. No. <laughs> They know a lot about their realm, but they don't know. I mean, I guess maybe like a god of knowledge might, or goddess knowledge, like even maybe. But they don't like know everything. They could like look up. But I think they like inherently like. I don't think any of them are like omniscient, you know. Well, it's just that they're gods, and they should know. <clears throat> Seems like a lot. They're still like. You know, they have their they have their their field of expertise, you know. I think I instead of having having like one like they're very knowledgeable about like one certain thing, you know. I miss believing the gods were not existent. <laughs> Life was simpler. I miss when I was ignorant. Yep. <laughs> yep. How much I didn't know what was ignorant all. people do. <clears throat> yeah, true. Well, and you're working on, on on the only names that you. I've got only three names. That's not. That's the only one. Just like I think Vera these are the people that matter. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else? I feel like I, I just need to not press. have any friends in okay. the city. Not a bunch of losers. Yeah, all the I'm friends I had in the man. city are with me <laughs> now. <laughs> That's sad. These are all my friends, period. So. I was gonna say, it's like, no, no. bold of me to assume I have many other friends Bruce at all. Bruce and Jacks <laughs> have friends in the city. Yeah. Yeah, all my friends are like, uh... Call them, like, friendly acquaintances. Oh, uh, know, no, Valor Vala wasn't friend, in the fucking city, was he? Yeah, Valor, Valor's... Um, he's on, he's on mission somewhere, right? Know. He went forgot off. about him. We, we don't know, he went off. The Valor, was, I'm like, last oh, put scene just in case. of him was when he informed the council of the, like, big hideout in, 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 yeah. in New Denver. I think he said he was doing missions. I'll still say, um, oh yeah, put Valor's name down. <laughs> just in case. If he's not there, then he's not there, but if he's well, there... I'll then... add Valor to the list. Yeah, just in case. Mm -hmm. I need these people's last names, dude. I wonder if a Valor comes up on the Nightweb detector. Most of them don't have... Well, Vera has a last name, but I know that one. So that's not... I, think it, I think it technically would. Because right? he has this too, right? He has this too. Right? 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 Hmm. That's going to fuck with us one day and be like, you get the sense. Bro, what if he's actually Valor a changeling that's been working against us this whole time? 
Uh, you mean the thought I've been having for the past <laughs> since this happened? Yeah. I forgot he existed, bro. I'll be real. <laughs> I didn't. <He's> my... <laughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so you guys are doing that. Brooks is climbing a wall. Is, is Davian is, is going bed, you said? Absolutely, yeah. Is he doing uh, anything gonna... before he uh, collapses, or is he just... I don't know, I don't think we can say on no, this no, stream. No. <laughs> I'm going bath, bed, and then beyond. Okay. Um, <laughs> I hate you so much. Is there anyone, anything anyone wants to do before they eventually just go for a long rest? Is there anyone that wants to go into the city uh, or dude. something? Um, I would like to... I'm getting high. Try and find and see if there's, like, a workshop area here. Like I'm, I know I'm just gonna probably follow Jax around until the, it's bedtime. The, well, you and could probably ask. bring the big old bot with me. You could ask, Jax. There's people there you can Ah, uh, that would be smart. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sparkbolt. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I like the Dutch star spawn, too. Uh. <laughs> I hit, like, I, I hit Koyo up before and I was like, listen, would you be down to... to oh, do yeah, because Koyo sent that message going, nothing to make you panic like your DM sending you, hey, I have a question. <laughs> he went, do you mind playing the call? I was like, yeah, sure. I know this bitch has some questions. It's going to be off script now, boys. I don't have to script. <laughs> imagine, making imagine making a character that's so... To the fuck. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Discord. Imagine making a character that's so... <laughs> Anyway, uh, sorry, sorry. I finished telling my funny one-liner and then just everyone snapped back into well, place. And I was like, oh, Discord mm -hmm. fucked me. Yeah, good. Don't repeat <laughs> it. Yeah, we all Thank just had... Uh, imagine making a character this. Uh... <laughs> Discord saved us from a shit joke. I'm yep. so, I love Discord. God bless. Uh, all right, sorry. Um... <laughs> Is there a workshop around here? Yeah, there's one in the guild. Is it oh. the door on the left or... Right, so we're gonna go through there, turn left, you'll see this big bolted door, right? <laughs> it's there for a reason. Bomb proof. Yeah, it's we've we had some mishaps before. Uh I could open it. We'll check it's unlocked, but I could quickly open it up and see these fucking like big jangler keys on the side. <laughs> like it's like the key with like a hundred keys on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all got like slightly late, they're all labeled. Like it's fucking yeah. out. <laughs> He's getting Color coded. <laughs> yeah. Getting old. All blue though. He's fucked up the color coding, it's all shades of blue. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, so you guide him to uh, what I guess was Naronk's old. Uh... It would be it, you would, you would There's definitely see like everywhere. yeah, guns everywhere. <laughs> There's definitely be like not a not like a, a shrine to Naronk. There'd definitely be some sort of like remembrance, like plaque or something, like dedicated to like oh. Naronk and, and like his like get his like guest birthday and then like his definite end date. It's like question mark on when he was born and then like <laughs> definitely when he died like almost the exact like minute <clears throat> yeah there's uh oh. there is a you know your your basic uh workstation there with a bunch of tools and uh, and, and whatnot yeah uh i'll just take a second to try and like figure out how much material i'm gonna need to fix up the robot with the power core that i also have for it too you have a power core right so that's that's the biggest yeah. issue out of the way um, yeah. make an investigation check. Okay. Ooh, good today, boys. 14 plus 9, 22. Um, as far as Arcanite goes, you have the power core, which is the most important bit. Um, do you have any... You have I got some... like those, I got like two or something, it's something yeah, like that. Yeah, you have, you have oh. like refined ingots, right? Like those that are already, yeah. have gone through got the process. Three. And... three, three bars. Yeah, you reckon that you're going to have to melt down one of those three and kind of like fill in the, you know, because basically inside of the suits, like there's a bunch of like seams, almost like veins yeah. of, of Arcanites. It's kind of almost like, like wires, essentially, kind of powering it up. Some of that needs to be... Um, I guess kind of welded uh, with replaced. the knights, like replaced. You reckon having to melt, yeah, you'll have to melt down one of those ingots. Uh, and other than that, just in raw material, or not raw, but in, in just materials when it comes to like metal and that sort of thing, you reckon you're gonna need a good like 250 gold worth of uh, basic materials to. That's not as bad as I was thinking. So buff it out. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh. <clears throat> I will let Diagon know about that. So we probably can fix it tomorrow. I'm gonna go 
we'll oh, wow. tuck it out tonight. As far as workload, uh, no, it'll be like no. a whole day kind of thing. Yeah, if you want to finish yeah, in one day, I you figured. could, but you have now, to spend the entire day doing it. I yeah. have I have an experiment <clears throat> that we'll have to do once it's fixed. Cause, cause look what look what look what I figured out how to do. I'm just gonna like float up, fly around a little bit, and then <laughs> land and be like, now, if I do that. Well, I'm in the body because it's not a like a person I'm possessing different like do we think I could make it fly too somehow I don't think we could but it'd be really cool but I do know how to make rocket boots we could potentially right. fit those on to... and put them like in the feet yes we could basically attach them to the bottom so that you could also yeah. use that to fly around when you're in the body on the hands. do you think with the... I don't know if you would be able to manipulate the weight of the suit itself. But I manipulate make it the also weight fly on the ground. Uh, well, because when you're flying now, you're weightless? Perhaps? I don't know. I, I don't really know how it works. That's the first time I did it. This is more of Lazarin's area of expertise with ghosts and god shit. Well, we'll make it, and then I'll, I'll get in it, and then we'll see if it works. If not, then I'll just go up, and it'll just stay on the ground. But then I can get right back in. So... Still not, well, still say, cool. With the boots. Um, check how long it actually Wait, because are the boots magical or are they like, like science? Because I can absorb magic and then I could just absorb the ability to fl from the boots and then I can do it. But then I, I can already just do it. I can already just fly. My brain hurts. This is why I'm not the inventor. <laughs> You're making my brain hurt. Okay, I gotta un- Unravel that in my head for a second. Well, I don't think you absorbing the enchantment would matter since you can already fly. Yeah, I, I can already. And I do don't that. necessarily think it would make the robot fly. So I, well, I think it would like, fit before, it with some. Because remember when I got in it, it, it looked different, right? Like it wasn't cat like mm. before. Like I, it shaped itself, like it molded kind of to me. So. Surely then if I wanna I wanna fly and I can. I can innately do that. And it seems to be connected or like keyed into me somehow, then surely maybe not for long, maybe not indefinitely, maybe only for like, you know, a minute at a time or something, but maybe for a little bit. We'll have to try. We, we can definitely check it out. I was to say it'll take me a little extra time if we need to make some boots, but I don't think it'll take <clears> very long. And I could, I could make those on the fly, too, so that we wouldn't... Yeah. We could, we could be doing other things. It's low priority, but it's just... Um, it's cool. But yeah, I can fly now. I guess it's going to be so mad she missed this. Yeah. Also, if I can fly before Cass can fly, when she's, like, air lady, that's pretty cool. Uh, Well, technically, uh -huh. I think she gets access to the fly spell at, like, level 5, but... God damn it. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty okay. sure Cass has flown in front of us. Yeah. True. It's been so long. She's been gone for six whole days, man. I just forgot a lot. Forever. So, Davian went straight to sleep. You two are in the workshop kind of figuring stuff out. Having discussions. Yes. Um, Brooks is chilling at the on the wall. Just gonna have it a moment. Hey, Brooks is just getting zooted. Okay. <laughs> Don't um, fall. So I guess we'll, long we'll say days. that you eventually also find your way to a bed and... Uh, uh, I will in so, that time as well. I will unattune from my arrow catching shield <clears throat> and attune to the heart of the land. Cool. Okay. Um, before I go to bed, mm -hmm. can I have a wander around and see if there's like an armory anywhere? Uh, I mean, there is. Uh, would be inside. It's probably locked. Is uh, it like super locked up and like? If you're kind of exploring the, the, the guild hall, uh, there is one rather large door that looks very complicated to open with a bunch of buttons in the wall, and you reckon that's where they keep the good shit? <laughs> okay, I'm not looking. I'm. Eh, I don't know if I'm looking for good shit or not. But <laughs> uh, as far as armory uh, as well is, there is another room where you just basically it's a bunch of like you know mundane pieces of armor, mundane weaponry. Nothing. Mundane ammunition? No. Well, ammunition in the form of what? Looking for bullets. Like, are you looking for yeah. bullets or arrows? 
Uh, I'm looking for bullets. No. Okay. Bullets or grenades, baby. Actually, the bullets I'm, are probably okay. where I'm at right now. No bullets. There are arrows and there are uh, bolts, but no bullets. That's fine. I've got retaining daggers. Alright. <clears throat> uh, do you eventually also uh, get to sleep? Yeah, I go to bed. I'll find somewhere. Like, even if it's just an armchair somewhere. Um, okay. So you all long rest uh, after a very heavy day, not only physically, but also... There was a lot of, you know, there was a lot of, 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 of revelations that happened over the course of the last 24 hours of learning things and, and hearing things that, that, that shocked you. And then, to top it all off, the, the, the two dragons attacking Eldilon. It was a lot, so... It might not, it may not have been the best sleep, but you all wake up feeling somewhat refreshed and are met by the scent of freshly baked bread and uh, a nice breakfast being prepared for you in the kitchen of this place. As you slowly all awaken um, and make your way downstairs, unless there's anything anyone wants to do before they make their way downstairs, but uh, stop me if that's the case. You make your way downstairs. Uh, well, I'm just going to be doing some, like, attunement shenanigans and yeah. uh, uh, infusion stuff. Sure. Or probably a little later than everybody else. Okay. Uh, you are... <clears throat> um, as you all kind of gather downstairs, there's this large dining table that has been um, set up uh, basically just, like, at the edge of the living room. Um, and there's a bunch of food being stalled out. Uh, the, you see this... this gray-haired dwarven woman uh just just putting putting down plates and cups and setting up all these 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 platters of of foods and and as you all kind of approach just good morning everybody uh, how'd you sleep i don't all sleep right. it's been a while since we've had guests here it's, it's been a while since i've had to cook for so many brings back uh some some good memories uh take a seat any anything you like to drink you don't need to make a room for me. Just, just a, good, a good water or tea will do. Fuck, is it... Oh, it's, is it... Um, you might as well ask if they've got coffee. I mean, is it too early for a... Oi, you know? It's a little bit. It's the first thing in the morning. I'd, say, I'd say argue no, it's, it's never too would... early, but then again, I don't know what day you have ahead of you. Can you just you make know... something that has a very, very strong smell so I can smell it? No, oh, I can do that for you, dog. I'm no. just kidding. You. Like something, like maybe even just like something with a lot of cinnamon or something that just has a strong smell. And yes, then they course. can eat it. Okay. Yeah, you know what a happen. mimosa is? Have you actually possessed anyone while they were eating or drinking? You. I think we did that experiment. We did it a while ago. I'm pretty sure it was you. Yeah, that has happened before. Did we? Could yeah. You yeah. No. Like, like not really. Like very faint. Like, it was like a very faint, yeah. faintest hint of something. Yeah. Um, do you ask her if she knows what a mimosa is? Yeah. <laughs> um, I believe so. It's, it's uh, like a fruit juice mixed with some sparkling wine, right? Well, yeah, orange juice typically, yeah. Uh, I believe, I believe we might have what we need, yeah. I'll, I'll sure. Cranberry juice. Just, just she, bring a, a picture of each. So cry. And uh, she kind of like. I've got the rest covered. As she moves to the kitchen, uh, you know, there's like this lady is definitely like getting up there in age, um, and she has like a slight like hobble to her step, kind of kind of walking to the kitchen. Um, eventually, she emerges again uh, with these two pictures and puts them on the table. All right, if you need anything else, just give me a shout. Um, I'll be I'll be right there. Uh, you guys eat up. I miss this. <laughs> hey, hey guys, guess what? 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 Chicken. Bar. I can. <laughs> hey. I, I, oh, the, the, you're, you're just you're you're on something this morning with the jokes. Yeah. Anyway, I can fly now. Welcome to the group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now you've made it sound way less exciting. <laughs> Does that mean I'm the only one that can't? No, Brooks, tell me you can't fly, right? I didn't want to reveal it this early, but... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, is is that one of the gifts that Imagine. a team I gave you? 
I'll, oh. I'll say Tiamat very quietly. It's only gifts Tiamat gave you. <laughs> the one, that, uh, the one that shan't be named. Yeah, the one. <laughs> yeah. You shall not be named. No, 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 no. They're not gifts. The whole point is I get something when I do something. Guys, oh, it's not um, gifts. I it's slipped, gifts. I slipped poison in your breakfast. Oh, oh. I get to fly. Oh, that's great. I did think it tasted better than usual. <laughs> like how, like how mother used to make it. <laughs> I and, yeah, and I, I, think. I might, I might have, and I don't think I'll have to hitchhike as often. Just in terms of like, uh, either if we're trying to be stealthy or if we're going somewhere that they'll be not so chill with the soul thing. Because I could also go invisible now. Ooh. Found Ooh. it out last night while you were sleeping, since I don't sleep, and I was just okay. Like, that I think I might be the only one. I think you're the only one that can't. You're the only one who can't. Yeah. I can only do it twice a day. <clears throat> Wait, because I try after not... I did it twice, I wasn't able to until I like you're not meditated going invisible, for a bit. No. You, I think you, you not just affect... tried thinking about it really hard. You can... Probably camouflage <laughs> yourself pretty well in nature, I'd assume. Oh, as as he's as Davian squints really hard in his eyes, like oh, I go, oh my god, oh my god, it worked, and I like wink at the table, trying to get everyone to like agree with me, like no, pretend, pretend he's invisible, pretend we can't see him. Wait, what's on the, what's on the table right now? Uh, it's this a variety of, of of different different foods, like freshly baked bread, eggs. Uh, bacon. The second that Dagon says, "Oh my god, it worked," a grape just goes flying, <laughs> like, oh, I'm not. and then just goes through. If only she yeah. was still a monk. through me. Yeah. yeah. If only she was still a monk. <laughs> I, I, I let it, I let it because I know it's going to just go through me. And then I'm just like, oh, oh, oh I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, we, can, we can rename ourselves now to something about Team Invisible or something cooler than that. Invisible. But, you know, the Invisible fuck, I fucking knew it. <laughs> the <Invisible laughs> fuck. The IFW, baby. Oh, see, see, in that case, neither replies to me, so at least that makes sense. Pretty mm. sure. At least one does, don't worry. <clears throat> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Hold on a minute. Um, yeah, as you uh, have your food, um, eventually uh, Tranliel also emerges from upstairs and, and comes down and then... Mind if I join you? Uh, by all means. She uh, sits down. How did you all sleep? As I don't sleep. More, as much as one can do, considering the f the amount of pressure that is on us and stress. So pretty well, actually. I sort of like a that fucking log. A it's beautiful. Up nightmare. Well, that's yeah. what done, Brooks. You heal. You um. The the the, the um, your your friends, the people that you want to be transported here fast track. Do so you have that list, so I can deliver it to the Empress? Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, are there any other names that I missed? Okay, I'll stand on the list then. This is just people I mean, in Eldalon, right? There's... Yeah. Yeah. People that were in Eldalon moment. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sure. Is there sort of like right. a um, limit on how many people? Because... I mean, however many That's fits it. on the first ash hit back, I suppose. But there's room for a lot. Can we think of anyone that might be valuable to have here for I mean once the rest of the council arrives, obviously they'll be on the first ship as well. Um I expect them to be here in Kalzir with us for four days, if the winds allow it. They'll, they'll have the people on this list with them, at least. And who knows who else? Maybe, maybe... Fates may have it that some other people that didn't think of have been lucky enough to be the first ones as well. I mean, I have a suspicion that any of mine and Dagon's mutual friends would be out, but... Mm -hmm. And probably know? not come in here. That makes it sound awfully shady. It is. Very antisocial. Have you met? They don't me? like big cities. Like Eldalon was already a lot, and they only come to Eldalon for business. And have you most met of the time, they stick to smaller towns. Have, have you met adventurers? Have, have you met me, Kess, or Dagon, and then thought about the sort of company we would keep? Let's try not to judge a book by its cover. 
Pretty accurate cover. Alright, um, the Empress the asked me to uh, extend an invitation uh, to you towards the end of, of the afternoon today. Um, your home away from home will be ready and prepared for you. Um, she has cleared out a wing in her personal home for you lot. Um, back in the day, there was this organization that, that kind of got replaced by the Heroes of Exile, I suppose. The, the Golden Blades, and they still have their abode within her home and not being used, so. Being cleared out for you. It, it comes with all the amenities, kitchen, training room, uh, workspace, workbench, secret entrance that leads from the base into a Ooh. back alley of the bazaar in case you need to leave or enter stealthily. Uh, be ready for you later today. Um, so yeah, uh, towards the end of the afternoon, if you please make your way to the Empress's palace, I suppose. Get the tour. Other than that, I understand that uh, what we ask of you is a lot. That you have been through a lot already. So... I'm not going to pressure you for now, just try and recover and whatever it is you need, let us know and when you deem it time or you're ready to undertake what we discussed yesterday, just let us know. In the meantime, we'll continue our research, perhaps we'll learn more things about the dragons that could help you when the time comes. If there's other things that you had planned to do, uh, don't let us let this stop you. This this war has begun and and let's just say that the next few days uh Adlon is already probably destroyed anyway, so it's an extra few days, I suppose. I spent so much fucking money on that house. Well, when we do take back the city, I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure an insurance will cover it. We were coming against dragon attacks. Hmm. Did yes. you not see the fucking tapestry that I bought? The bed. Oh, on worth worth 3,000 platinum, right? Okay, well, make a list. Maybe I'll see what I can do. Check it twice. Anyway, um, I, um, I don't know what I'm to do right now, to be honest. I'm trying to keep in touch with my fellow council members, and right now we're just playing the waiting game, and I really despise it. Not much else we can do, unfortunately. And that's because you've no way to kill five dragons and put away for your hand. Um, No, unfortunately, uh, that power um, got yes. taken away from me. Day before it. Ugh, fortunate. It's always the, always the way. But you know, if you kept it, you wouldn't need to use it. The dragons wouldn't have attacked. You know, it's the whole thing. How it works. It's going to uh, assist the Empress and 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 as much as I can. As as, as I learn more about these dragons and st state of the rest of the council, I'll make sure to pass it on to you. Appreciate it. Right, I'll uh, I'll leave you to it. He quickly grabs another slice of bread from the gull and front door. I'll sort of look towards the group like it's like we've just been asked to kill five ancient dragons, right? Like while well, literally I in a building that is named <coughs> after some heroes, apparently. I, like, where, where are they? What are they doing? Exactly. Tired. What? what no, <laughs> well, like, no, no, well you saw how old that blue fuck was. He, he was I mean, he made, made Jack look young. Yes, young. but what happened to the rest of them? Did they die? Or... Well, what do we know has happened to the Heroes of Exile? Um, Jack's wasn't paying attention. So a, you guys are on your own for that one. Make a, so, like, make a history check. Fuck. I feel how like... How many times have we met Ganon without realizing? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Davian is actually just Gen again. <laughs> this whole time. If our party meets again, 
And we're gonna Ooh. not trust him. We're so terrified. Oh, he's dead. Be like, we're gonna leg. <laughs> That's a fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, you know that uh, majority of them are still alive. The only thing that you do know is that you've heard or read that two of them are now up north in Thermagar in charge of the city. I know those two. Okay, okay so no through... Idea. I'll go uh, to that. Right. Did we ever know that Aberan was part of the Heroes of Exile? Oh, oh. yeah, we met him. Uh, yeah. We, we, I, albeit briefly. I feel like there was... Might I think we'd see his name on a doorway. Yeah, right? been like, yeah, it'd be surely as a list. Yeah, of, like, I mean, if you, that people you, know, been to, you, you were told Abran's name, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, upstairs, like all the doors have plaques on them, and he had a room, so yeah, you could put those links together. Yeah. We find the room of the. Oh, ooh. Okay. Like in the cool room, like I'm gonna station that called? one. Yeah. Oh, and then the cool upgrade again. Now that he's guild master, he's like he's yeah, on no. the floor to himself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> He's got the penthouse. Yeah. He's got that empty core of him and all Nic his bitches. <laughs> Nicole, Nicole would never do anything like that. <laughs> I see there is literally like a vault of at least two fucking artifacts and something just there. Yeah, just there. <laughs> just hanging on the wall. Oh, yeah. He occasionally goes down and plays with them. Yeah. He's just waiting for that epic hunter to come along so he can finally fucking get rid of Fenthry. <laughs> Still so carrying like, uh, brutality wait, so... right close with them. Yeah, yeah, all times. It's, like, it's now it's... turned into a walking stick. <laughs> we, we, saw, we saw Bran. Puts the spike on when there's a hill to like climb up the hill a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hang on. Uh, uh, you yeah, so you one... know you know that Abaran yeah. like is still alive because you met him and, and you Elijah informs you that he does know that I mean, two of them are now up north somewhere governing. Is alive. Well yeah, you've seen You've interacted with, I guess, is is better better way of putting it. Um, you don't know, know about exists. the others. You don't know about uh, uh, again Morwen. Oh, that's not, that's all. You don't that's know about Oh, well, wrong too, but he's dead. Yeah, yeah, but well, we know no. We know about Trim and Actanus. Those are the two. Yeah, yeah. they're the ones yeah. in the north. north so. Yeah, that's all we know about them. Oh, yeah. like we don't know. And we don't know about the many, many dead former members. So, <clears throat> I guess this puts off doing Celestia's little quest. I mean, did you see her? Well, I know she's not here, but I mean, there are slightly more pressing things. Kind also, of. I don't think we can go back there easily if Celestia's had to leave the city. Like, I think she's going to be following stars out here. I mean, she will be, just not the well, same. Well, not that, you know. know what I mean. She is very well, obsessed. Well, technically very obsessed. they are the same stars. <laughs> yeah, true. There's a lot less light pollution. Is that stars true? Here. Yes, it's a desert. Well, that's because in real life, the desert doesn't have vehicles constantly polluting and factories. Yeah, polluting. this is also like the capital city of this <laughs> continent. Yeah, you guys, so you guys like, didn't see all those it's not vehicles and factories, it's like streetlights and stuff. Yeah. yeah. This is like Abu Dhabi, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Bye. If Abu Dhabi still used candles um, and lanterns. Yeah. It's Aladdin. What's, uh, Arabian night. What, uh, <laughs> what does this, the day bring for Lot? Remind me, Davian. No. You wanted to go to the fire plane for something, right? That was on our list. Oh yeah, I, 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 sorry, I've had too much. I've had too much mimosa already. <laughs> You've not even started drinking yet. Too many mimosas. There is a California champagne by Paul <laughs> my son. Ah! Out of character, can we write a to-do list? I definitely did, yeah, but I'm making so many notes. Then, one of you keeping I'm... a quest log? <laughs> yeah. I, I tried, and then we like... I wrote the quest log like... like like here at some Luckily, point. I keep a quest long. But no, me, me but to help the quest. Here, guys? No, well, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting J on my keyboard. No, here's the thing with the quest log, though. It's, it's like only three quests, but within each three quests, it's like 17. Like 17 drop downs. Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh. 
Well, so, yeah, anyways. We, we, need, we, need, we need to go to the plane of air for Kess's thing. We need to go to the but plane Kess's of fire, there. city She'll of brass. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to go to the city of fire, plane of brass for my thing. What was yeah. your Celeste thing, though? Celeste wants to do her thing. Can't do, thing do that right like now. That. So the thing yeah. on your quest log, I guess, right now, is uh, you still have the whole help Kess find a cure for her dad. That is the thing that is also on your to-do list at some point. Which we don't care about at all. Uh, there is the <laughs> Celeste thing. Uh, there's Vera's also plotting a revenge thing uh, that, that oh, she did. Takes a little bit of a setback, though, I think. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, the revenge. I'm just <laughs> reading it off of the, the order of you guys getting these quests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's his dad. Davian, so that's City thing. of Brass. <laughs> City of Brass. That's his dad is already dead. You but why are we going to the City of Brass for dead? Like, to, to meet Kasuth. He, he like, yeah, so just like we did with Lazarin. Because he's supposed to do kind of the same thing with Davian. Like, okay. Kind of like you, check you, in with his you. champion. You know? told probably, that there was a big night web uh, compound in New Daramuth. Um, yep. We ain't going to that you know that there is this supposedly this 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 council happening between all the elemental lords, and you guys are, are kind of supposed to be there. That ha will happen in, at some point in the future. Uh, and now there is these five like, dragons. I mean, we'll get summoned back. for the council, right? Yeah. Like... Yeah, a lot of these will get summoned. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. A lot of these are. And, and it is do. safe to you. You all feel like it's safe to assume that that is postponed since the Lazarin kind of brought news of dragons knowing of this yeah, meeting and change things, location. Yeah. Things are gonna have to change. To okay. Be, to be confirmed. because so why why dragon talks up then? He's like so. Yesterday we now know if we when we do go to the city of brass for your thing um uh over under on running into the worst of the dragons there because she's from the plane of fire well it seems uh, like they're kind of busy like only two know. of them only two well, of them well, but, yeah, but well, aren't they didn't they say that this, they're fighting with kosuf right now yeah yes. the, I'm oh, just fighting. Fighting. So, so then the uh, the over under is a hundred percent because she's literally fighting and, well in she the could be fire right now somewhere else. Could, be, could it be like if they were fighting in the other side of the world you know it could be yeah oh, i mean we're going, we, we need to go to the city of brass which is like you know the big probably. dealio is it like what yeah. the sure think she would try and fight the city of brass capitals because they, they attacked like elon which is the capital but maybe the yeah, but the planes are a little different from here. Maybe the elementals put the attack in first. We don't know who the aggressors are here. It's definitely the dragons, though. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because of our of our things to do, basically, most of them we can't really do right now, except kind of that one. Because Kess, we have to wait for Kess to tell us she's ready for us to help her with her thing. She's kind of like. Technically, kind of doing it right now on her own. Maybe for all we know, it'll be dealt with when she comes back. She'll be like, "Surprise, my dad's better." Or she's um, gonna come back and say, "By the way, guys, I really need your help." Oh my god, yeah. worry about it anyway. So Celeste's thing seems to be on pause because Celeste is now unable to part <laughs> undertake it herself because she's I now flipped. being evacuated as a refugee. Um, don't know how the fuck we'll find Vera. Also, seems kind of uh, hard to Vera's do. with them, so Vera is part of the council, so she'll get broke. She's not part, she's of, the not part of the council. Oh, no, she's not part not of the council. She's a pirate. But she's getting brought here, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. She's going on the to a landlocked yes. city. Perfect. That's yeah, I don't think she's going to enjoy the council. it. Uh, the the uh, hey, there's elementals. A, there's a out there. The elementals will call us. You know when that's time. Uh, Elazarin said we're not ready to go to the Nightweb compound yet, and the dragons, we're not doing that right now. That literally just leaves the city of Brass. Which indirectly also may involve a dragon, but like the worst dragon, which seems like a terrible place to start. To like, be fair, we do have a dragon relatively close to where we are. The what? The blue one in the cataclysm? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean the blue the one, one. The white one inside uh, no, the whispering the white, forest. The, the, the white the one's in the plane of air. White one's green, green one inside the whispering forest. Green, yeah, green, but keep in mind that the blue one is one of the two that was attacking Olilon, so that she yeah, might so yeah. probably not be there. A, now. not there. B, the blue one is closer because the cataclysm is in. The I also stand. wouldn't mind having some crafting time. I mean, also I that, blue, I'm just, that, I'm just that, that, that blue one as well seemed like you know newest one, rookie. Also. Yeah, rookie, baby. Well, I say rookie, baby. I mean, probably probably still an ancient baby. dragon, right? Like, probably still very dangerous. Older than Jack. But, yeah, the, the, the blue one was like the most to prove that will. Why Probably. don't we just go ask Nicole? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh God! Why don't I we feel just like go I ask... feel like who? Which one? Which one? Like, like greedy and wants 
The fucking the green. green the, the green's green attacking Eldalon right now. The green one. All right. Well, we'll, let, the... we'll just we I... just find out how we can get to the plane of fire. I'll go talk to Kosuth. Maybe get some cool shit. Because he might be able to also give you an upgrade before we have to deal with a dragon, mm. which oh, would be yeah, very right. helpful. I'm just maybe get time to there. kill a dragon. He's got the experience. I'm just gonna put it out there. Two things. Mm -hmm. Number one, our choices currently are plane of air, plane of fire, or I don't think plane of air is even really a choice. Not at the moment. Out, out of we'll out of character, be... we're not gonna go there because we would have run into cast and we can't do the like. Yeah, the, I know that, that, but <laughs> obviously no, no, we can't just... deal with black and green because they're fucking in Eldalon. Long. Good wait for them. Number two, if there's a dragon going through the plane of fire. We might need to go and deal with that first, just in case. You know, Davian that bitch loses his ancient, ancient dog. They, they literally said she's the worst one. That yeah, like, like we were starting idea. with her. Ain't no she's shot. Not like the yeah, biggest. Yeah, but we also have a lot of help, yeah. right? We there. also have I mean, fucking Kazuth on our side, so you know. Right. Maybe. Right, you know, not that we didn't already or anything. Like... Or alternatively, we leave that and Kazuth can handle it on his own. Are you putting a Z in there? <laughs> It's hard to say Kazooth with a, an Irish accent. Kazooth. 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 But also, we might leave it and Davian might just wake up one day and no longer have warlock powers. I feel like... I feel like if anything were to be happening that's that bad and drastic, it probably would send some sort of message. He's powerful enough to do that in Davin's room. Surely he'd be like, oh, yo, shit's fucked. I'm coming in. You know, like. I told you what, Davin. Take a nap. See if you have a dream telling us where to go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh I wonder I wonder what the Lord of Fire, who has been bugging me to go see him for fucking weeks, um, who is currently in battle with one of the dragons, would want yeah, us to do. there's a reason. Would He's he perhaps us. want He's busy. five of the greatest heroes <clears throat> to ever um, have walked the land? To go show up and help him out, maybe. Wait, who else is it? No. One of which is mortally <laughs> bound to his being. I wonder what he would ask for. Of course he wants to fucking go I there. I really classify myself as a hero. Does he yeah, need so you're a fucking he moron. No. Huh? Well, I'm actually one of you together. Oh, fucking no. But I guarantee if I, if, I, if I said, Oh, Kusu, do you want to come up? He's going to be like, I've been fucking asking you to come out here for fucking weeks. So what's taking you so long? <laughs> He's, gonna be He's like, not going to be like, oh, no, take your time, mate. Go do some other shit for some other elemental lord. These aren't exactly, you know, uh, benevolent people. He's very selfish. Yeah, but they're all on the same fucking side. Yeah, yeah but his side is his side, isn't it? Yeah. Bro, bro, all I'm saying is... Side, and we're selfish assholes. All I'm saying we're, is on our list, on that somehow logically seems like... I guess the next thing to do, but we also have to be very mindful that we maybe have to be even more careful than we might have been before. Because I'd like to do that and see him without dealing with the dragon in there yet, I'm... and like save her for later. How, well, how yeah, big is the right. elemental plane of fire? Like, I don't know. How big is the material plane? At least this big. I don't fucking know. <laughs> We're not going to walk in there, answer. and it's going to be city of brass, and then across the street, dragons, right? <laughs> You want to fucking bet? Because that's what oh, happened. Oh, you know, yes, I want to fucking that's bet. That's what happened in Eldalon. <laughs> I bet Eldalon and the City of Fire are two very different. Like, okay, these are people on. who. And, and they no. were in Eldalon for. City of course. Fire? What? No, I mean, the they were in Eldalon. The, 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 right. the elemental planes are a lot more dangerous than and the also, planes. And also, you know, these are people who are experts at killing dragons. I'm sure. I'm sure they would put some sort of dragon defense in some of their main cities. If they didn't. This is like the bones all over again. I'm going to scream. This is like the what all over again? The bones? The bones. The fucking secret bones of like, the hey, this, is keeping, in... the, this oh. is keeping the, oh. this is keeping the Barovia, <laughs> this is keeping the town safe. Hey, this is super easy to fucking steal, by the way. The entire existence on these. Well, yeah, but the whole point was that nothing bad could get in, so it wouldn't be able to steal it. But, Doesn't yeah, matter. But... It's still like, I just... Just in the cupboard. What do you mean? Just in the cupboard. It's like that. Oh, this is just where we keep the uh. If you're the in whole area fire 51, thing. you don't have to go in three different safes. Do you know what area 51? Do you know what area 51 is? Super fucking secure, you penis. Yes. The area around the bones, the whole place was super fucking secure because of the bones. Yeah, but okay. area 51 is also I mean, right? full of. 
And like uh, everyone inside of Area 51 Ethan, is military you're personnel. You're kind of right, but also completely wrong. wrong. Anyways, yeah. anyway, tangent. Side Who's this area where bad guys can't get? Um, so yeah, but all they have the to do bones. is persuade someone okay. to get the bones. Let's. From. Yes. So, Anyways. so, does plan sound like take a day to prepare for going to the plane of fire? Run, we have two. Okay, okay, 48 hours prepare for plane of fire. And then, oh, and then go to plane of. F well, in those forty-eight hours, we figure out how to get to the plane of fire. Because also, you know, it's not just next door. And then, plan. Yes. There we go. Forty-eight well, hours. Can we survive the plane plans. of fire? I don't know. That's a good. That's part of what we need to find out in the next forty-eight hours. Like, is <laughs> it know, literal man. fire? Like, are we? Do we have to walk on magma and like breathe yeah, air that's so hot it would like burn? Being the learned man of the group, what would I know? I, mean, I, I was gonna say, I being also can. a reader, the right? learned man of the group, who didn't believe in gods for three hundred years. Being the learned man of the group, <laughs> mm -hmm. what would I know about other elemental planes potentially? Make a make a history check. Like, give I mean, him. We can also go to a library. I can go to a library. Well, so I can go day. as well. I was thinking we could be like when we saw through the papers that one time we together. Turn the yeah. Books. Or if so you can actually talk to me and I don't just awkwardly sit there whilst <laughs> sign things I don't know. I can, I can still turn the pages. It'll just be uh, my, 22, my Mr. Dean. No, I mentioned 22. Um, you know that um, you definitely need some protection against high temperatures. Um, because. Just... Oh, I've got one. Don't be such a pussy. <laughs> because you do know that um, Some kind of ocean. <laughs> it's a plane continually ablaze. Um, uh, so you, like fire resistance like, would cover it. Temperatures hey. high enough to melt stone as soon as, like, just melt stone so just instantly. So we would it's... also... Okay, 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 no, no, hold on, hold on. That is, like, thousands of degrees Celsius. Yes. Oh, uh... Just all the time. All the time. Yeah. You guys don't have fire resistance? Yeah, that's crazy. You guys wouldn't no, have no, fire no. resistance. No, 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 no. Fire, fire resistance. Uh, okay. Resistance. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Literally inside a furnace. Very different. Very different. <laughs> Same thing. Sun um, cream. Max, can on... we maybe make the robot body like <laughs> naked resistant flames. to that kind of heat? Is that possible? Like, oh, could you imagine if Dagon's robot goes in there instantly fucking just melts? <laughs> just, <laughs> just melts. All the work yeah. gone. <laughs> You just become like a slime. Any non-magical weapons, slime. liquid. Ah, oh, dude, she just becomes that new fucking like gelatin race. We get oh a God. great time. The the the. It's, it's um, like, uh, like ru people. rules as uh odd people written though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you are resistant to fire damage, you also are immune to the effects of extreme heat. Shit! Really? Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Extreme heat. Yeah. The sun still <laughs> no okay. I'm just I'm just apart. giving you how it works gameplay wise. Is if you, you have some type of fire resistance, you're good. We're not Holiday gonna, in we're not gonna have exhaustion. <laughs> we're, not gonna have a, we're not gonna have exhaustion and heat stroke. We're still gonna be taking fire damage. No, 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 no. We're it fine. Is. I'm giving you <laughs> an out. I mean, I mean in general. I don't just mean specifically fart. this play in a fire. Uh, well. Then why are you say why are you talking then? I'm not talking about the thing. I'm not using that I, I thing this. we want as an example. But just anyway, uh, the wrong if you, I, I just double checked. If you have resistance to fire damage, you can withstand the effects the of extreme heat, so. which is fire is also heat. So resistance. if we, cool. if you have some sort of enchantment or infusion when we make my robo body that can make it fire resistant, then I'd be fine inside the robo body. If you put a coat, a if one didn't have body, protection then. or immunity Aww. from temperatures high enough to melt stone, then death was swift. Like, fire <laughs> resistance is not He's protection from just... temperatures <laughs> high enough to melt stone. Is he the DM, guys? <laughs> yes, apparently. That's crazy that the guy who is telling us the rules of this world right now. <clears throat> I Listen, like there is fine. an out, alright? And I have an out. It's just, you have to get to set out. So let's just... Yeah. Well, I can do Ooh, some yeah. research on the on the on the on the you know, plane of fire. Maybe how to get there. But you know how we had those like like hats for the water Whoa, breathing dude. for the lake. Maybe we can buy Just something that's resistance. like yeah. <laughs> Maybe According we can buy. According to the like... Beyond, the heat is comparable to a hot desert on a material plane. That's like that's pussy shit. Yeah. There you go. 
So whoever fucking third edition, manual of the planes third edition, don't know shit clearly. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Just, we're maybe. going on holiday to Turkey. That's all right. Because if, if we don't, I think it's more like we, on holiday to the Sahara. But if we don't, we're have, in the Sahara. Oh, Laura, I'm so sorry for you right now. Yeah. If we don't have time, Jax, to make the body fire resistant, we can leave it here, and it just means I have to hitchhike with someone the whole time we're in the plane, which is fine. Okay. What is fire resistance as like a? Potion. Or potion? again, we I'm find like, something like, in I'm town. I'm trying to find like the rarity of like fire resistance because that can tell me how long it would take me to craft. Because if it's if it's an uncommon um, enchantment, how about it only take me three and a half you days? Figure, you try to figure it out while we go on break. That's what I'm doing. Hey. Okay. so we'll uh, we'll take a break here uh, and we'll uh, sounds good. Get back I just the, hmm? it's the sliding scale of. Temperature melt stone. Oh, hot as a desert okay. is like don't insanity. Yeah, no, there <laughs> like, is. There's <laughs> definitely a lot of sources that say different shit. So like, no, I don't. Different it's, it's, shit. Yeah. It's, I feel but, like um, canonically, it's just someone that came back and like very hot. Really but trying to some, overtell. What I'm saying is, if you have some semblance of fire resistance, you'll be alright. Yeah, um, no, that's. I mean, according to D and D Beyond, hot as a desert, no biggie. Fire yeah. resistance, you'll be alright. Yeah. Just, I just like. I just like the idea that canonically, some like wizard or something has come back from there and they were like oh so how did it go and he was like the stones were melting yeah, well, yeah some, like, it's some like, like volo, oh, some volo shit oh, stepping, on, <laughs> step, stepping under the plane of fire is like stepping into the moor of a red dragon oh my god <laughs> anyway you should pay me extra for this job uh, y'all yeah. i'll tell you we'll go if on one, break, but y'all yeah. gonna laugh at me i just realized something that i'm sure everyone else is like you only just figured this out and it's gonna be embarrassing but that's why i'll tell it to only you on break i, I want to know I want to know as well. That's the premium episode. Oh, well, you you mentioned Volo. I'm like, oh my god, like the the source book, Volo's guide, Volo. Oh. It's that Volo. I only oh, just, no. I only just oh. figured that out. Oh boy, that is yeah. that is oh, that is actually his his dad. <laughs> that is embarrassing for you, goddamn. Volo's <laughs> gate where you literally like. You, sh you, you should have done this, Laura. Volo's guide. Until until she meets Fizz Bang, guys. Um, yeah, we'll be back in uh, in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, BRB. I need I need to figure.
That's really that funny that I can't fly I, in there. I could do that. Weird. No, I could. I could do that. Yeah. So, so sorry, Dutch. Okay. Bumbacanda, yeah. baby. Oh. I can. I can get to Amsterdam from Cardiff, which is like easy peasy. Also, uh, you know. I'll send you the <laughs> screenshots after D. I'll start. Plus, Heathrow Airport sucks, if, by the way. If I fly with someone, I start crying. Uh, I, I, hey, hey, I, I don't have a horrible time at Heathrow. I love Heathrow. I fucking hate it. Other than. Compared to Atlanta, dude, Having it sucks. to explain several sex toys to the security, that was awesome. <laughs> oh. What's this? Well, you see, let me show you. You stick No, it was, literally, it was like, what's this? It was like, it's a sex toy. It's like, gonna have to look at it. And then get my whole bag gone through with yeah. the bomb detecting shit or whatever, or the drug <laughs> detecting shit or whatever the fuck. Yeah, swabbing all like, your shit. And... Nah, my wiener's been in that. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wash it just for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The residue. This is oh. why we're buying our sex toys in Toronto, right, Dutch? <laughs> not buying shit, bitch. <laughs> not even halves? Damn. Oh. You better. You're gonna have to treat me. <laughs> this bussy don't come for free. Um. Anyway. Oh, uh, it comes real easy though. <laughs> hey, oh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, D and D, more. Yeah. I hate it here. So, uh, you're still at the you know the breakfast table, kind of, kind mm -hmm. of discussing things and then going over uh, potential plans. Um, City of brass. Brass. But we we need uh, we need at least forty eight hours to prepare. Hours. So we're going to need to get everybody resistant to fire. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I am already good. 
Brooks is already there. Wait, so three, so it's just me and Diagon? Technically, if we don't have time for me, or if there's only a solution for one of us, I can just hitchhike with someone. I just need to be very yeah, careful, because if I end up, like, the whole 24-hour time limit thing, and if I get kicked... Mm. Sure. Jax, what would we it, what would we need for that for you to uh, so um for the robot it's going to take me about a day to fix it just mm -hmm. repair it yep on top of that I could myself um put the make it resistant to fire in about three and a half days that's a long time if we could get someone potentially from the city to help like hire someone to enchant it while I'm repairing it stuff like that we might be able to cut the time down I, I don't know. I'm sure they probably know an Fire and enchanter. I'm sure they either in this guild in the city. Like yeah, I just don't know there. how expensive it might be. So, well, we can. I can. You know what? Question. I'm. I'm planning to go in the city to you know look up ways to get into the plane of fire, and I need to get something for myself. You know to be resistant. So. Um. You know, it, okay. I can uh, find maybe find some something. Carry coin. I, I'll, I'll take I'll take some money, but I've, I've got some, I've got I've got some stuff to, to some sales. I do have you, the cash from the party. Do you do you need me to keep receipts so you can write it off later? Or uh, yes, yeah, so I need to give them to my accountant. Oh, of course. <laughs> Wait, I'm your accountant. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've been meaning to tell you. Yeah. yeah. What's the tax? Go with someone else. He found me a couple extra loopholes. Yeah. All the tax laws here again. <laughs> You're only registered in Ingress. I only do business not, and housing, not, not personal. Not Kelsey Law. Yeah. Yeah. Jurisdiction error. Yeah. Mm. Different laws. Um, okay, how much, how, how, fuck, how much money do you want? How much money are you willing to give me? I mean, <laughs> a thousand gold uh, most things I should. I'll send you with 150 platinum. 150 plat? God damn. 150 plat. I'm just gonna write it down. Um, don't get and then like honestly, that. probably whatever we don't use of that for the enchantment, I would argue probably just need to buy potions with it. So, enchanter potions of heat, just potions like healing and like, yeah. Potions. Uh, actually, I'm gonna give you another 50 plat on top 200. of that just for potions. So, for 50, right? So, 150 plat for so I'm completely I'm dry 50 on potions. plat for potions, okay. Anything else that we might need on the shopping? Uh, no, because I'm gonna go just to grab material. Oh, and I'm going. To, uh, is someone gonna be coming with me? Because uh, you, yeah, you guys don't like um, if I walk up by myself. Yeah, so. I absolutely am not letting you go anywhere alone. Yes, you know that's what I was. Thinking. Also, I kind of do want someone with me anyway, so I'm. Uh, what well, has to make some drastic measures? I'd be totally fine if it's just the two of us, though. I was gonna stay in just in case Jax needs assistant with with the repairs. Also, since it's my body, he's spending all this time on. Oh. I should help. Oh, that's of course. Gavin, what's your plans? Uh, I don't fucking know, man. Give maybe you can work on trying to contact Kasuth. Well, I was just gonna way. say maybe try and give Kasuth a call and see if there's an easy way over there, or you know, time that, helps. that you might that be. Brief. I mean, if, you, if he's gonna be able to meet up, or if you need to relax or anything, you just do. You but you know that would be good if you could find a way to contact him in some way, or you know at least get information from him. Yeah, I mean, there's there, there'll on. be a way to contact him. I just you know, for, oh, yeah, for I've got some like... meditation and praying tips if you need them, but I don't think you're that type of connection with your. No. I don't know how that works. So. Daddy Kosuth. Yeah. Hello. Father, they're not letting me into the pain of fire. <laughs> Father, who art in the elemental plane of fire? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the sensor right. out. Um, and start getting some fucking. I have some incense Ooh. you can have. Incense going. I feel like I need to ask Is this tinkering work, Jax, or is this something that I could actually help with? It's probably going to be a mix of things. Um, well, because I have to replace the architect wiring and the layering, and then repair yeah, any wi wiring's beyond fucked up me. spots, and then just fit the architect core in there and actually attach it, make sure things are working properly, so it doesn't blow up. Is it well? And destroy half we, the world. Could we also take some of that stuff out? Because like the things that made it autonomous, we don't need in there because it will never need to be autonomous. Because I'm the one who's going to make it do things. 
So it really just kind of needs the core and the shape. It doesn't really need, like, to be able to move on its own. Right? I mean, the, the core's what basically allowed it to move on its own, kind of have its uh, own. It was like the brain of the operation. It also then, gave it power to move and do things. Then you could, you could keep that for yourself to use for some other Arcanite project later. I just need the casing. Uh, well, it might make you easier for you to move it around. Oh, okay. If, if you possess Instead of just being no a muscles, hunk of metal you... you're trying to. Oh, control. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, if, what happens if you possess a corpse with no muscles? Like, does it still move? I mean, yeah. If I possess like, one that's mostly skeleton, most of its muscles are rotted away, it would still would get up and move the around. The robot's probably just too heavy to really do that with. Our yeah, game. yeah, yeah. Metal. So you need me helping Dax, Brooks, and I need to take Davian with me? Davian's got shit to do. I can come with you while he does wiring shit, and then I can come back and hit I can still help with help wiring with. shit. I'll just use these, and I, I, I like, make the the mage hand, the spectral pause. So there's like basically like a second set of hands right in front of my actual set of hands that I'm like manipulating and those can touch it. And they'll pick up, it. they'll pick up like a fork and a knife and they'll do stuff at the table. I think Brooks was more saying it's, he would be helping with the heavy lifting of certain things and I mean, actually, maybe hammering stuff in place. Put some nails. Heavy. I can make things, I can't wire things. I think uh, I'll say there's like even some patchwork stuff to like the damage that's been done to it anyways, so. Oh yeah, mage hands can only hold objects up to ten pounds. Yeah, so I can't help. <laughs> Big metal heavy. robot, little bit heavier than ten. I'll go with the I'll come back. You're, you're like the little kid with the dad. It's like, all right, hand me the screwdriver. Yeah, I can do that. Wrench. I'm I'm you here for detail work. I, yeah, I'm here for detail work. I'm not oh, here. The flashlight for... holder is an important oh. job, right? People oh, fuck it up all the time. The fucking die getting oh, the day it. I get little face on it. <laughs> like, I can't see. Fuck. All right, team. So, and for, then I'll come back and help. Who's doing what? Who's doing? Who? Uh, so, the only thing I have to do is get materials for the repairs if they're not available in that workshop. So I don't um, but I have to go. I have to go and, and fetch those at your nearest. Uh, given that most of it's metal, you'd, you'll probably be able to buy that from a smith for the right price. All right. Well, that is my only stop then. Uh, who else is going into hit, hit and tone? Uh, me and uh, Brooks are hitting tune. Right. I'm going to be... He's shop master. I'm, ma I'm literally like magic shop and probably That's some sort fun. of like, or some sort of like library slash bookshop type. Hmm. I'm researching. I'm well aware of what's here. <laughs> Time to make the same mistake two campaigns in a row, guys. I mean, that guy was already, like, ancient in previous campaign. Yeah, but his son's it's definitely got a vendetta. <laughs> Nicole, out of spite, bought the bookshop. <laughs> he, had, he had a daughter. Okay. Um, oh. Right. Uh, so, everyone's hitting the town except for Davian, then? I guess so. All right. Well, I was uh, going to stay just because I can't carry stuff anyway. And again, I don't know how the general populace would react to seeing a mm -hmm. ghost walking around. Here, they seem pretty chill, but I'll just... People of Kulzir have seen some shit, but uh, you never know. <laughs> didn't see Orcus like 25 years ago, so... <clears throat> no, that wasn't even this... Uh, this this The Orcus fights happened in the, in the Kingdoms, right? If I'm remembering correctly. If my memory serves me, correct me. <laughs> yeah. it? Wasn't the Orcus fight like in the Kingdoms? We're no, because we no. had to like, fortify the here? city and do all the Orcus fight oh. was here. It was yeah, something no, no. else that was in the kingdoms. Uh, Orcus mm -hmm. may have been in the kingdoms. That's where we fought the. Uh, we... uh, I know we here is where you fought first. the fucking like. This is where we fought the, the fucking Eldritch like, Horror. Eldritch yeah. Horror thing. Oh, yeah. Eldritch Horror. Orcus fights. Right. I'm pretty sure. I... No, I'm pretty sure we fought Orcus in the kingdoms. I think so. In the kingdoms. I think you ended the game in the kingdoms. It wasn't long after we did the fucking. If it was in the kingdoms, but then Pami says it might have been Eldalon because we might got teleported back to Eldalon and went into the fucking. Kalzir. Yeah, Kalzir, Kalzir. sorry. <laughs> Fucking hell. Because I remember, you know, like, Lich, Kalzir. Lich Bitch, and uh, but they were, in the all, were also there. In the kingdom. Yeah, but I f have a feeling that I they were a it separate fight from Marcus. In Kel... I think we may go on to Kalzik, because that's where that fucking... Well, I can't remember what maybe, the... Maybe, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look back. Anyway, let's... Archmage people were there. Uh, regardless. Uh, the people Anyways, they've seen some shit People because they've seen some yeah. shit, but you never know until you find out. Or until you try. And yeah. Then, and then you'll find out whether or not... They have a little special bell, of, like, it's happening again. <laughs> First case, the Ghostbusters will come after you. you know? Um. Okay, so we'll, we'll handle the group going to... Uh, 
to the city first. Uh, as you uh, enter Kalzir, this is just this large metropolis of, of different cultures, kind of... Um, like, it's a melting pot of different uh, cultures, different races, uh, all kind of coming together. Um, as you enter through, like, the southern gate, uh, your, your, your vision immediately, like, looks out this, down this very large kind of main street... A lot of hustle and bustle of people moving around. Um, eventually, you, you're met with this like large kind of bazaar, and this is where all the shops are. There's a bunch of smaller shops, like general stores, Smithies, Fletchers, and then there is a couple of, of, of big shops as well. One of them, uh, a very um, those of you who are from the kingdoms might be less familiar with, although it's been thirty odd years, um, so you know. She might have expanded, but there is an Arcana Emporium in the city, a very yeah, large yeah. magic shop chain uh, native to, to this continent, but in the years, um, I, I'd say that the Lazarin probably is very well aware of, of that chain. Um, they, they've expanded over the years. They've also, uh, with the... Well, they didn't go, they go out of business, didn't, you know, go into administration of business, like all... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good retail chains do um other than that um i mean that's that's the, the go-to magic shop around these parts and it is busy there's people going in and out of that shop like like a like clockwork um yeah and there's much like smaller shops around here as well uh, some some larger of like warehouses that kind of sell all kinds of random things um but as far as magic items go on this bazaar the the arcana emporium is definitely place to be um Jax, as far as like metal and stuff like that uh there's a couple of smithies kind of dotted around this uh bazaar that you could probably uh try your luck at okay. so to is there an arcana emporium in darima oh yeah oh yeah the original darima yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah brooks will also know that probably never been in it but Pretty much every major city in Kalbalar has. <clears throat> Even some smaller cities as well. Point. Um, yeah, so what, what order are we doing things in gamers? I would probably... Uh, I'm going wherever a Lazarin goes. Would probably wait. We'll probably get Jax's stuff first. Just to well, make I'll sure. I'll just grab my stuff and then... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, make sure he like gets his I'm shit holding, and then like I'm doesn't fucking die. Hand. You are not holding Lashin's hand. Yeah. Um, you, all right. If you fucking attempt it, there is I'm, one smithy I'm pretty much as, as soon as you enter this bazaar. And the bazaar itself, there's a bunch of like, oh. like it's outside. But there's a bunch of like, like, like colorful like tapestries and, and cloths kind of like overhanging uh, to kind of give you this we're inside kind of feeling, even though you're not. Um. Um. And there's like immediately, like, as soon as you enter from, from the direction that you're coming from, on the right-hand side, there is this uh, a smaller uh, smith's shop, and you can see a handful of uh, 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 humans um, kind of smashing away at an anvil and putting some, putting some things, like, pouring, like, molten uh, ingots in, like, molds and, and, and stuff like that. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Uh, I'm just here. I need to grab some uh, metal for a little project of mine. Uh, do you have any spare? Oh, well, pff, depends, right? The right price. I'll tell him the amount I would need um, and then say, uh, how does uh, 225 gold sound? Well, if you need that amount of supplies, right? Like if I were to sell it to you at cost, that would be about that. Uh, I'd like to run a bit of a profit, because if I don't sell it to you, I turn it into armor, weapons, and, and whatnot, which will fetch me a lot more. So, I, I'm not here to overcharge you, but uh, I'd say a bit more haggling buyers before we can strike a deal. Two seventy-five. Make a make a make a make a persuasion check. Yeah, make. A... Oh my god. Um, that was almost 
I'm actually insane, but it should be okay. Uh, Let's see. Oh, I'm dumb. Sorry. Um, wasn't looking through my inventory for my skills. Uh, mm -hmm. 16. <clears throat> Only five. We're getting there. We're getting there. How about uh, three hundred? How about two seventy-five? I give you ten of the best pies ever made. No, that no, not the people pies. <laughs> I might give you a okay. pie. Oh, look, oh, pies? What is this? Would you like to taste one? Not the people pies. Not the not the people pies. <laughs> not the crack people pies. What yeah, a great pie. line! Only in D and D do you get lines like "Not the people pies." <laughs> make, make a persuasion check. <laughs> we need a quote bot for dungeon select ASAP. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so weird. I was re-watching, like, Dungeon Slit clips recently. Just, you know, as you do occasionally. And fucking, you've said the exact same thing before. <laughs> you're like, you're like, <laughs> if we had a quote bot for this, for this, it would be in it. 14? 14? How about 300 gold and you keep... How much 300 pie gold pie? and I'll throw in pie for free. I don't want your pie. I want your money. Right, three hundred gold. And he. Uh... That's evil. I just that. Three hundred <laughs> gold. I'm throwing a pie for free. The pie would make evil. him feel great. He'd have a great time. <coughs> yeah, made of kids. Cannibalism. <laughs> one. The, we don't made of know children. That specifically, Two? it's just profiting from by pies what made of children. Three. Four. He gets addicted to the crack children <coughs> pies, so that you can take advantage of him late. Two days later, you come back, he's gonna be like, Oh, you got any more pies? Oh, I'll, get, I'll give you a discount. You got any more pies? You know that. Chaotic evil move right there. I'm I'm with Duke. He's gonna Jackson's be like, new alignment he's gonna be like scratching his neck. I'm like, Oh, no. I also don't think one choice pies. confirms your alignment. Um, it, you know. it definitely gives you a big shift, though. I just want to like, literally, like, it's a choice. shift. A matter of days a ago, shift. Soko being like, Drax is the nicest person in the group. Yeah, I didn't say he was the like, good. He's just he'd nice. serve for, he'd serve children baked in a pot of strangers. That's how nice he is. Yeah. Um. Okay. Anyway, he uh, he he um he grabs the materials for you and puts it on like this large crate. Um. And takes the three hundred gold off of you. Thirty platinum. As you're doing business, you need anything else? Feel free to stop by again. Uh, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much. Oh. And I will uh, then go blast off to the guild hall. All right. Uh, the rest of you are headed to uh, the Arcana Emporium. Oh, the, yeah, the Arcana Emporium. All right. Uh, as you enter the shop, the inside, it's very TARDIS-like. The inside is maybe ten times bigger than it would appear from the outside. And there's just rows and rows and rows of, of cabinets and displays and uh, all kinds, all manner of magic items there's some like signs that kind of help you direct you in a certain way it's like to, to, to somewhat make sense of it but even with those signs it is there's it is kind of like sensory overload am i getting ikea i think and i'm following one direction and it's like wait <laughs> not quite but uh <laughs> close um and there's a lot of people there as well um and as you all enter this this tall uh elven woman this 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 kind of like long hair and, and these bright green eyes approaches and uh well aren't you a colorful bunch welcome to my shop um what can i do for you today i think it's literally just me and brooks right here then jacks fuck off <laughs> fuck off to the oh. guild house you stay with us Point still stands. No, I fucked off. Fucking important. <laughs> it's just brooks and i Point cool. still yeah, stands. <laughs> um Right, um, how much is it to uh, hire uh, an enchanter? Um, Straight to business. All right. Well, oh, well, I mean, how are you, but, you know. Um, um, hire an enchanter, well, quite pricey, and uh, depending on, on the ask. Um, but would I'll, I'm, I'm going to need a little more specifics. Uh, we need to enchant a uh, golem with 
uh, fire resistance. All right, darling, I'm going to stop you there. What? I'm just trying to go with them. You know, like a... Uh, uh, yes, I'm know. aware. Do you yeah, want the short uh, version or the long version? The fire version? resistance. Well, depends. Is this long version entertaining? Uh, no, not really. I'll be honest. It's a horrific, depressing story and the whole fate mm. of the world Probably depends the short on version, the short version, then, mission, if so. you don't mind. Um, are we building a robot for a friend of ours to help control? And we're going somewhere awful that we need fire resistance for. Like a volcano, for example. All right. Well, um... So, is enchanting it's the only way that this golem... Or... I'll be honest, I don't know specifics. We've got some guy who's well, helping well, you. We've say... got our artificer. We... Some guy, dude. Say... So... I'm just, I'm just saying that because as much as I would like to make money, I like making money, off of customers, there is also... It's just not as profitable as it is selling you, hey... Is a necklace that makes you fire resistant. Good day. So I'm just oh, trying I'm to see. I'm buying if... one of those as well. I need one of those oh. as well. <laughs> but I need the one. You should have led with that. Right. I need one of those as well. Right. But okay. if we can get an enchant, it means that I don't have to get more items. <laughs> We're already pretty. <laughs> okay. This is far too complicated. For the sake of clarity, yes. we have what is essentially a robotic corpse that we're going to let a ghost control. So obviously that thing cannot wear or make use of magic items, but we're going someplace where it's we're fucking hot and we need some way of making that whole entity <laughs> fire resistant. Interesting. That's a first. Um... It's very complicated. It's why we can't Okay. Well, um, fire resistance in itself is is not the most complicated enchantment, but regardless, it's uh, it, it's take a while, some resources. Um, let's put a pin in that for now, while I figure out the. Uh, it's it helps that they won't logistics. be doing it alone. They'll have, like, well, we have someone who's sort of doing it. It just okay, helps okay. speed up the process. Relax. Don't have a heart attack. Calm down. It's okay. It's it's a lot. He's, a very, he's a very anxious man. Let's put a pin in that. I'm going to have to discuss that with some of my enchanters and see what the availability is. As you didn't understand, we're quite busy. Oh, All right. no. I 100% understand. You know. Um, so no, that's no issue. Let's just put a pin give, in that for now. Give Brooks a fucking look of, like, fucking here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go much. discuss that. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, if you want to browse and peruse the shelves, by all means. If you need anything like a drink, perhaps a soothing cup of tea or something, there's a, bit, a corner there where you can arrange that as well. Um, give me a few minutes Literally while I here. go discuss this, and, and, and I'll be back with you shortly, alright? Try not no, to drop dead in the middle of my shop, though. I don't... I'm not going to do anything that... The second she turns her back, I fucking use my nightwear detector, and I'm fucking like... <laughs> It uh -uh. sets all the alarms off. Yo, yo. Oh, uh, no, no, uh, no, no. Oh, shit. That's Oops. weirdly surprising. <laughs> Opens up. I'm going to be honest. If anyone that we'd met was going to be able to get around a night web detector. I know. God, how would you miss the NL guys? What a, what a great NPC. I have. Is, right? While we're I've waiting, missed, uh... I'm going to go around and look to see if there is anything that Brooks would find exciting. Which okay. normally means flammable or explosive. I mean, I will be or looking. Bullets. I'm looking a for most likely something that something that doesn't require attunement to get fire resistance. So probably like an amulet or ring or fire resistance, whatever. Fucking. Actually, I think those are all attunable. Shit. Uh, hold on. Amulet. Let me just. Give me just a second. Um... He's got a butt plug of fire resistance. Ooh, amulet of fire resistance doesn't need it. Let's go. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm just imagining ring. Brooks wearing another amulet and being bullied out like a rapper. But you don't need fire resistance. You've got that. You've got yeah, but what if he wants psychic resistance? <laughs> Double um... fire resistance. Fire immunity. Shut up, Brooks. That would actually be sick. That'd be really useful. Of all the people to be immune to fire, it's the one that explodes himself. 
unfortunately, every grenade you get now is force damage <laughs> and psychic. <laughs> Because it's just putting a mental toll on you to it's, keep on it's blowing a yourself up. But it does cold damage. Yeah, the fire's the burn cold. Only oh, it's just three. liquid nitrogen. Two. Very upset. Yeah, I just saw the jar of in my inventory again. Three necklaces. Forgot I had it. Do you want Eye for Lens? I've accidentally done at some point. Hmm? Joined the D and D campaign. No, I actually deleted the items that were in my robe of useful items. I kind of remember what was in there, but I don't have the list anymore. But it's fine. Okay. You're going to have to go Sweet. back to the VOD where you got it. And no, I know. Um, I, I know what most of it is. It's like, I got two windows, three doors. One. Also, then you also have to find out which ones you used. You have to go oh, back no, to the... I deleted. No, no, well, I deleted. All the dogs are dead. All the oh, dogs okay. are dead. Because, okay, I don't okay, have any okay, of the okay. healing potions. Um, I don't have any of the... For the... Uh, like, um, doors and windows. thing we're doing. The enchantment. Okay. Yeah. Um, spell. This is a can. Yeah, but it only lasts. Oh yeah, but it only lasts. Yeah, okay, that's. Uh, a right. potion of fire resistance is an uncommon item. <laughs> um. I'm a little bit In three and a half days. So, Theonel comes back. Okay. So to enchant um this golem. With uh, fire resistance uh, that is more permanent than than than, than merely, or well, that it is permanent instead of, you know, will take one person roughly thirty two hours, okay. and will cost you about. Well, if you hire one of my enchanters, will will run you about six hundred gold. Oi, oi, oi. Cool. That's. Yep, that's okay. Makes sense. Those are the going rates. Especially, you know, we don't like to uh, manual labor. We understand the cost of money. That's absolutely fine. Well, yeah, th that too, and also just the sheer. And, I mean, of, of supplies they'll, be, they'll be get they'll be getting help. So with like the enchanting side, we sort of have uh, um, a person who's working on the golem is sort of um, good as enchantments as we're making their enchantments as well, so it can help out to reduce that time. Right. So it's not too bad, but Laszlo, just say yes. I've I've said yes. I'm just letting them know it's not going to be as I don't whoever they cares. hire. All right. Um. So for this, nice. you want this resistance to be permanent, so that yeah, yep. thirty-two hours. Um. Well, uh, yeah, so six hundred gold. As far as um, yep. we have other things as well. Uh, what what? I know Brooks, uh, you asked like. Anything you find exciting? Well, you're in a fucking magic shop, mate. There's a lot of things that go boomy kablooey. So you, you are, yeah. There is this whole you section look up an item on D &D of beyond. in the candy store. There is this yeah. whole section of like, um, uh, just you know, like Brooks. these beads. That you've seen these this kind of like bead neck beady necklace that you've oh, seen, like a uh, that you've seen. Yeah. Um, That's that right? Davian use that like oh, Davian Davian recognize use, yeah. that they're like fireball necklace, are yeah. the fireable necklace that that there's also this smaller section of things that are more you know towards the like gunpowder uh section but also very much enchanted to the point of it's definitely more a magic item uh than it is just a right. Uh, as a straight see, up bomb kind of thing. As I see Brooks looking like the King Cancer's like Brooks can get one explosive item because you know, you know, we know how you are with them, okay? So I'll allow you to get one. And you're like, this counts as one, is it's like a fucking cluster bomb? <laughs> like this counts as one. <laughs> you said what I reckon, balls, but each said what like I reckon fireball. fit in my hand as I hold up the cabinet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> it's a six pack. It's only one. <laughs> Um, did you mention you were also looking for, uh, for, for, for something to give, uh, an item to give fire resistance as well? Yes, but I don't want to be, like, I don't have to attune to, so like, say, like, a necklace or that, a ring. That does or... run the price up a little bit, as that, you understand. That's fine. Um, we but have... there's, for this task, shall we say, I've got a bit of spending budget. You see, you, you seem very, um, stressed. You were right. I'm fine. I'm just you know the century. I He's would say, level. to my normal level of stress, it's actually pretty good. He just is perpetually to, stressed. It's just compared to everyone else's level of stress. Yeah, it's pretty high. 
So, you know, just... just this, don't read into it too much. Just who he is. Just don't mm. worry about it. You know what? It's none of your concern. Have you met before? You're fine. Have I would have no. met? Uh, no. Okay. No. no shot. If, if we have, it was not a memorable experience. Oh. oh. Damn. See, and I was just about to say, you remind me of someone, and now you definitely do. Oh. Wait, who's I remind you of? That's <laughs> none of your business now. Oh. Insight. I want to know. No, no. Fuck off. I want to know. Um, we have an amulet of, of of fire resistance. It doesn't require attunement. Um, it's just it's just this garnet uh, necklace, if you will. Um, due to the fact that it doesn't require attunement, it'll, it'll run you about two hundred gold. That's so, fine. Attunement is. Okay. I'm not gonna do. It. No, that's absolutely no, that's absolutely fine. I also, how much do greater potions of healing run? Oh, I'm, your, all your healing potions, why not? Sure. I'll hire the full price range. 50 gold, you know. 200 gold. Give me 200. 1500 gold, 3000. Okay. So, I will then also get. Doing math. Math. I, it's not even doing math, it's. Do I be a piece of shit about this? Are you yeah. already offended her, mate? Not to, not to her. No, to, it's to us. Me. Yeah, to, to how do much. Do I sell I'll... something that doesn't belong to me? Yeah, no, it, it belongs to me. But do I sell something <laughs> that, that the party else wants? That, yeah, <laughs> so the party will be pretty upset if I did. Well, I mean, Brooks is there. You can always talk to him. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rude. Uh, I will. For, I will have. Hang on, I'm going to do actually. Mess. Did you say it was two hundred for greater? Oh, I forgot. Uh, I think yeah, it was no, 50, 50, 50, 200, 50, 50, 200, 50, yeah, 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 yeah. 3, yeah, two hundred, fifteen, three thousand. Yeah, two hundred for greater. So two hundred. So if I get. <laughs> three greater. Mm hmm. And then, how about if I can do a little bit of trade as well? Of course. For two, for two of those, uh, what the fucking next one is, is it? What's called Superior. 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 Two, for two superior, I'll give you a potion of vitality. Oh. Yeah. Make a persuasion check. You know what, fucking hell, we go. Oh, he's great at these. I'm good at these. My dice rolling. Who doesn't love a shopping episode? And yeah, all right, is it great? So long. Bitch, we're going uh, that was that was a, a fifteen. We want three greater, mm -hmm. two superior, mm -hmm. one amulet of fire resistance. Yeah. The total price of nine hundred gold and a potion of. Done. Right. <laughs> that's, that right. Done. Uh, anything else for that you, or again. can I move on to the gentleman that you are with? Uh, that is everything for me. As you're doing business. Uh, what about you, so sir? Good to see you. Uh, welcome to the store. I'm sorry. Your friend seems to have a habit of well, taking the spotlight, but uh, fully focus on you now. What can I do for you? He's just perpetually like this. Don't worry about it. Uh... I'm sorry for I'm, your I'm loss. literally... <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> just browsing like D&D Beyond Magic items, so... Um... <laughs> like... <clears throat> I, I guess... Well, if you I give me a general ballpark of, 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 of genre, so to say, it can, can help narrow or it down. Or budget. Or budget, yes. Thank you, voice. That isn't actually there. A shop assistant walks by and is like, oh. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> part of me wants to get maybe a better enchantment on my weapons, but we've only got like two days, so I don't know how feasible that is. And on the enchantment. Possible. If you have two days, um, 
what what's the what what exact enchantment are you looking for? Are you looking to get them well I, what weapons are these? Let's begin I with that. I will show off my knuckle dusters. These are just like what's the They're one? plus ones. Plus one. Okay. Um to upgrade these to the next uh you know, to, to give them a little more 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 kick. You know, so to say. Uh would roughly take about 48 hours um, for, the, for the lot. And... What about to give them more punch? <laughs> um, Money-wise, you're looking at about 400 gold each. Well, yes, we're going Wait. to have to enchant each one, no? Oh, so 800 gold total because I have them down as one item? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I hate you so much. No, I'm just giving you what the total price is, but I'm separating them because in, in reality they are two items, so instead of... I know, I know. You know. Uh... Oh. Look at Laz for them. But, um... Oh, what about... Do, do, is, it, is, it, is it just... You want them to hit harder or can we maybe do something more I am open fun. to suggestions for instance oh when you break someone's jaw with it they also get burnt or get shocked or something you get a little pierced those so, would absolutely work because those enchantments are a little cheaper as well as uh, take less time spicy uh, for instance uh we can we can enchant them to do any type of damage on top of the normal damage it already deals. So, for instance, if you would like them to have a shocking effect or fire effect or, or, or name another element, uh, we can arrange that. Um, we can we can we can also make them permanently poison dipped uh, if that's something. Ooh. Um, or acid. I mean, uh, we, can, we can do all sorts of things, which the meta like will cost you less brain... money than. Upgrading them as they are, and also less time. The meta in my brain is like, don't get fire, don't get fire. We're going as we're going to the plane of fire, and, and also it's the most common resistance. But like, my in character brain is like, I can fire. <laughs> my fist could be on fire. <laughs> Either that or dead. Eh, poison. Eh, poison doesn't work on dead. Fuck it, I'll go. I'll go for fire, Dutch, Mister DM. How much? Don't talk to you, DM. You talk me? to me. <laughs> um, How yes. much is it gonna run me to have these burn the fuck out of people? Uh, five hundred gold, and this will only take about sixteen hours. That's pretty good. Okay. The sixteen-hour part. What? Like mechanically, what it will do is. Besides the normal punchy punch damage, you also deal an extra d6 fire damage per. per That's hit. odd. Okay, um, I'm gonna. I've looked up a couple of items. I'm just gonna ask if I would have seen them mm -hmm. uh, while I was wandering the store, and if so, how much they would cost. Just uh, if you have links or something, just send them to me. Uh, Dutch, one quick thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I need to make an item real quick for this. But I looked up the amulet of fire resistance. Cool, got it. Add to my D and D Beyond. Uh, when I equip it, it makes my con nineteen. What? Oh, and gives yeah. me the fire resistance. Spicy. But like the amulet like, of fire it resistance. It doesn't give. It, it does it with it my doesn't, inventory but it doesn't too. Give, but it doesn't give me the fire resistance. It just ups my con to nineteen. I, mean, so I think it's giving me the wrong your one. Con and add fire resistance. Maybe. I'll, yeah, but still, uh, write it like, down. Any items that you're gonna get, write it down, and I'll make sure that it, it um, works accordingly. That's so odd. It is very I mean, I'll weird. just I can just make a custom item that says amulet of fire resistance and just give myself. Yeah, and I'll replace. Uh, yeah, and I'll replace oh, that next week. I have an even cool. an even odder D and D Beyond story. I'll tell you after we're done um, from, from Nether Deep yeah. Wild. Well, uh, I'll just just DM that to me, Koiba, and then I'll uh, okay work it out. Okay, um, thanks, Dad. I was just like, ah, uh, <laughs> this doesn't seem as yeah, it's, it's like it's adding right. the uh, the amulet, amulet of health. Squares. Yeah. The amulet of health or something like it's, it's so weird. Fucking strange. Um, don't worry about anyway. it. I'll have that fixed. Sorry, I thought I'd just let you know. Um, I'm making the DM think, guys. I mean, yes to all of these. 
They're all there. Oh. Okay. Like, is, is there prices with them? Yeah, there's like price tags. So the the gloves. Uh, oh, the necklace of fireballs, by the way, is about nine hundred gold. In case you were super. Yeah, that's um, out of my price and it, range. And it will have. Let me roll now. Wow. And you already got one fiery it's, um, upgrade, so. Uh, and it will have it's, it's eight well out beads of my price range. Uh, on it. Unless I sell my gun. That's eight fireballs. Um, the gloves of thievery will run you about two fifty. Okay. Deck of illusions. Gloves of thievery. Two hundred. Okay. Uh, bead of force. Just what, like, is there a necklace or like per bead or? Hmm. You can get a necklace or like a bracelet made, and it is 100 gold per bead. Okay. Oh. Oh. No, I'm know. lying. I'm I'm fucking lying. I didn't realize. I did. I didn't realize the rarity. Uh, like 300 a bead. Ooh. Okay. Cheap, bro. Uh, yeah, I have fuck all money. Same. Right. So first things first. I'm the realist. The fuck up, dude. I, I look, I'm sorry. I said first things first, and then it just came into my head, and I couldn't not. Mm -hmm. So, what'll be sure? Okay, first of all, we have a potion. Well, I have a potion. Would you be able to identify it? And if so, how much is that going to run us? Um, no. Well, that depends on. The rest of your order, and maybe we can make it work. <clears throat> okay, fair. We'll deal with that at the end. Uh, I have some valuable pearls to add in as a trade against things. Just mundane pearls? I have three pearls that you said were worth 200 gold each. Right, as you were. To be honest, I've got a bunch of them just in the back waiting to be enchanted or used, so unfortunately. Hey, hey Lazarin, you want to mm -hmm. buy these pearls off of me for 200 gold each? Hell no. <laughs> I'm doing them pearls, you know this. Um, um right. so. Okay. I may have to come back. Uh, give me one moment, I'm going to have an aside conversation with my associate. <laughs> Such a tease. All right. Don't take too long, Bill. Mm -hmm. I'll pull Lazarus aside and be like, look, I ain't got that much fucking gold. Okay. <clears throat> how much you need? Okay. No, I mean, how... how <laughs> as Like, we as a group, we as in our spending budget, we as in... My, no, how much more my, do you need? My best friend. How are we sitting for gold? Um, how much do you need? Do you want okay, realistically, like two, three hundred gold. In an ideal world, like five hundred gold. Oh now, you would have to explain it to Jax if we do five hundred. The two hundred either that or <laughs> I do have this that I was sort of holding on to and Jax doesn't know about and I what was this? hoping it would be fun, but and I'll pull out the gun. <laughs> one i have a pistol from uh fucking ricard called destruction Fuck. i mean yeah. i still have i still have ricard's bow blade as well so you know <laughs> i'm keeping all that I, I, Good one. Ricard's Ricard. <clears throat> I mean probably should keep holding it. i'd like i seem like he sort of mentions that like put that shit away, put that, put put it away. just just like yeah it's the <laughs> Um, Does it like know sure. how to store it super well, so it's like yeah. really clunky? I mean, thing. I we could, I could afford it, but you know, five hundred gold, four hundred gold. Well, I mean, I have no how idea much, how to use this thing. I just think it'd be really fucking funny to use it at some point. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, yes, funny to use it for you to use it. No, because you and gunpowder-based items have exactly got the. You, know, you are sort of banned from using them. I'll be honest. You, we did sort of say as a group you not to use them at least without saying. And how I'm much, being. How much nice. do we have left of Jax's money? You know enough. 
How much? A few platinum. How much is it? Do we have more than a grand of Jax's money? Oh, fuck no. no. God, no. I've blown through all that. Um, <laughs> we've got we've got about 40 platinum. And I, I say about, we've got exactly 40 platinum. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not here, but I could always... I could always bribe him with the gun. I have a problem in a good mood. Like in the middle of this conversation, she comes back and just, gentlemen. Hey, hey, how's it going? We made up our minds. We're just. The problem is, is I spent a lot of money on my clothes, so. We just uh, we're having to allocate budgets he a little tends bit. To carry money. You know we. Obviously... So he's your caretaker. No, it's no, no, no it's no, an accounting no. thing. It's an, he 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 hires me to take care of his money for him because he's too it's you know not true. he's not we're, all there you know he's a bit, he's a bit stupid is what he's saying. Here. He's been hit in the head far too many times from drunken fights, you know. You know these types are like, but, <laughs> you know. So I'm mm -hmm. just, just look, biggest I grin. Just look at her and go. I'm here. Yeah, for but which one of us was the one that offended you? So, I have, none of you did. What made you <laughs> feel like I felt any sort of offense? <laughs> you know how many idiots like you I deal with on a daily basis? Come on now, <laughs> try That's harder. Fair. I love her. Fair, I I mean, okay. My queen. I um, at my absolute max. Okay, at my absolute max. I mean, I idiots in. in the most endearing form possible. <laughs> oh, we know what you're. Um, so again, I look at Brooks and be like, so Brooks. I mean, how much I, it also depends forward? on the value of our potion. So, Brooks, how much can you put forward? Uh, like, how much I want to spend. I, I that wasn't the to... question. The question was how much can you put forward? <laughs> I just want... Uh, give me the 40 platinum, bitch. I'll give you the 40 platinum. Like, right, remember... <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> worrying. You got the money. Right, so that is... 766, so... She's just, like, leaning on the... Okay. Like, Connor, just... just... I will definitely take the fire enchantment and the deck of illusions. Okay. I have a potion. And Me too. If you would Crazy. be willing, you have many. I've seen. It's a wonderful collection. Yeah. yeah. If you would be willing to help me identify it, then I would consider selling it to you based on. I'll get the fucking unlabeled potion of giant strength out that we don't know which level okay. it is. So, I'm going to identify that potion, the enchantment, and the, the deck of illusions. So that's all with the identification pricing. Uh, we'll run you about 700 gold or so. It will take. Um... But there is the potential. It's like it's like a gamble, right? It could be seven hundred gold, but if the potion is very interesting. I might want to buy it off you, and then only the pricing is different. Then again, there is. Well, it's actually exactly like gambling because you're paying me to identify it, and there's not even a guarantee that I'll buy it off you. Ooh, that is amazing. <laughs> How much? Okay, so seven hundred was the flat price for the items. For everything, including the item. Okay, so then I'm not really paying. It's a gamble. Mm. Fuck it, we'll do that. And then we'll go from there, because I have other things. As in, and you want me to identify this first, and then we'll see if you want to buy the rest, or what's going on? Yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if you're open to that, but I didn't expect you to... I mean, you're the paying customer. No then yeah, fuck no it. Sense. Let's identify this, find out what it's worth, and see... It'll be 50 uh, gold, and she kind of just like... I'll hand five platinum. Pockets it. All right. Um, because if fishing gun cast identify, she's gonna look at it and be like, "I know what that turned out that is." No, like, you that prick. Is... I mean, no, I don't know if there's a way of knowing which one it is, but I assume probably from the type of toenail. Yeah, the giant toenail. This would be a potion of fire giant strength. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's mm. that's big. Hmm. Storm Which, uh, for the record, interested in buying, but given by the incredible amount of drool dripping down from your bottom lip, yeah. 
might be something you want to keep. Only five, yeah. Uh, it's only five. It's all it's not stolen mechanically, so. No. What? Okay. How much are you buy for? How much? Before we get into the nitty gritty of actual wheeling and dealing, mm. if we just walked in off the street, how much would you offer us for the potion? Um, profit margins kept in mind. Given that you're a new customer and I don't know you, there's been no loyalty built. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably. Thank you for all your worth. So, we'll say oh. about 400 gold. Oh, I really want. I want the gloves. Okay. And, prob and possibly a four speed. But also thinking about it logically, are these things that we're going that are going to help us in our upcoming trials and tribulations? Like, is an extra plus five to lock picking gonna help us kill dragons? Probably not. Probably not. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Unless so, there's some really I'm... cool loot locked behind a door that would kill. I've a already dragon. got a plus eight. <laughs> it would make it a plus thirteen. Yeah. I mean, I can give you a plus four for fuck's sake. Well, in theory, plus four. So, plus yeah, one so, through four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so let's just put the gloves and advantage. on the back, As much as I would love the gloves, I don't think they're the logical choice. And yeah. Elijah's here to make. Oh, they to would help look stunning on you. Yeah. <laughs> That's ever, amazing ever, news. Ever you can get. Man. It's that great. Is, you can I get mean, gloves to look at just a... like that at the clothes store for three quarters of the price. Well, so no, you know, the whole joke there is is that they appear in physical. <laughs> Again, even more, you can get that for free. <laughs> Little things you can get for free in certain place. I was gonna say he's not always this tight, but he really is. You can get anything for free if you use a five figure discount, but you know. Maybe we wouldn't talk really about that. Also, running a shop. Just to make an inappropriate joke about you. To be fair, it would make more sense to buy the gloves before stealing things, but... I you imagine feel the need to now report you to the authorities. So, are we doing business or, or not? Because I, I don't have You time don't feel to... the need at all. Like, uh, so weird Jedi mind trick. You don't feel the need to report us to the police. <laughs> okay, out of character. No, oh, fuck me. Right, <laughs> out of character. This potion gives you... I'm gonna kill myself. Gives you 25 strength for an hour. Yes. We're still here. Right? Yep. So that's what, a, a plus uh, seven. seven? Plus your proficiency then, if you're, if it's something you're proficient I'm in. I'm putting a bullet in my brain. <laughs> Do we think that's worth keeping or? Oh, no, in game! <laughs> Make up, oh, this hey, is, come on. I'm asking out of character. But that's meta gaming! <laughs> it's not. It is. We don't know! It's called You Have Gut Instincts Alice. for a Reason. Valid. What do you feel like? I'm gonna keep the potion. Oh I'll my! Buy, I'll buy the fucking fire enchantment and the deck of illusions. I'll buy none of the fun stuff I wanted. If only we were gonna be doing probably a bunch of Did we get the fire resistance enchantment we needed? <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Lazarin yeah. did. We've already done. All right, so I, all the shit that right, we got. Keeping need. the potion. Keeping the potion. You're buying the enchantment. You're buying the deck. Is that it? Which is, I think. 625 gold based on spending 50 already. So 650 because 700 minus 50 is 650. You dipshit. <laughs> she just thinks as, I, as I said, there's a reason I'm in charge of the money. Mm -hmm. I know the math. I was trying to be cute. I thought Someone's going to be fuck with a wee outside. Right, so. The, the general haggle and hustle and bow, bustle. Maybe, uh, maybe next time. So, for the enchanting, uh, where am I sending my enchanter to? And, uh, at, you know, right there. Right heroes of, does it, is it called just the Heroes of Exile Guildhouse? Or is it yeah. called? Yeah, the Heroes of Exile Guildhouse. Right up there. Really? Are you the newest recruits in town? Oh, we're not recruits. How's the old big blue Friends bully of... doing nowadays? <laughs> he seemed lovely. He didn't seem like a bully at all. Is that what, he, is that what he's like? Well, Stories. let's just say that there was, well, no, rest his soul, uh, this, this book shop owner that uh he's uh, dead 
had a run-in with him, and uh, oh, no. there was a what point in time where they... there were a bunch of crayon-drawn wanted posters plastered over the city. Wanted Big Blue Bully. And that's kind of how the nickname ah. came to be. Poor him. Should ask him about it. I'm oh, sure he'll oh, get a kick out of it. Oh, what we don't know is Nicole killed that. No, cool. <laughs> it was just like one, one day more. He I'll, uh, I'll send my enchanters out uh, right away, and uh, then if the assistant is capable of, of assisting and not making things worse, um, should be done at the latest tomorrow evening. Excellent. All right. Well, let's do business. It's been. Fantastic. It's uh, uh, and then, sorry, to take up even fucking more time with this <laughs> bullshit. Um, I will really? turn to leave, okay. and I would like to go to either a library or mm. books or whatever place of research. Yeah, and we'll, I would just uh, like we'll to research about we'll Firefly. To... Thank you. The, the guild hall for a moment, Davian. What are you doing while uh, they're shopping and? Uh, well, I guess I gotta talk to the big man upstairs. Mm -hmm. The man upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll I'll seek out some privacy in this fucking guild hall. I don't remember how this place is laid out, but we have <clears throat> places where we were sleeping, like, right? Rooms there were and... rooms dedicated to some of the deities of choice. That you it... can maybe co-opt one just for a oh, quiet that private space. a little space. blasphemous. I'm not trying to step on any toes here. It's also, it's also been like 30 years. It's probably like a compound well, now. This, mm -hmm. it, is, it is definitely a lot like... bigger than it was back uh, back when it's yeah. first. Uh, yeah, yeah it was... but there's fucking... Is there anybody here besides the cook and Dagon? Nicole is wandering around. Recruits. There's a couple of recruits kind of like scurrying around the place. Uh, that kind of come I need one of those uh, the room of requirements. You know, <laughs> um, is there like in, a lounge? <laughs> an, you could go, a, you could go a, use an, the an garden. The garden's probably nice and quiet. Yeah. Is there an unoccupied lounge that I could? Yeah. There's a bathroom. Oh, actually, there, the there room there. that we ate in. Yeah, I mean, when I'm done, is there a fireplace in here? Yeah, like in the living room where where you also had your uh, your breakfast. There's a large fireplace. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'll close all the doors and like. I don't know if they lock, but probably not. No, you, and I will, you, you uh, hear I'll Hilda the... in the in the kitchen just doing some, you know, the kitchen is like kind of like attached to this living room, uh, but she seems pretty occupied with what she's doing right now. Good old Hilda. Yeah, I'll go over to the fireplace and start a little start a little fire in the fireplace. See, I don't have just I don't have um. I have control fire, but I don't. There's another one to to make. To actually fire. start the fire. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. like I have create bonfire, but I'm not about yeah. to make a five by five foot fucking bonfire <laughs> in the fireplace of the guild hall. Unless it's a big ass fireplace, it might be. It's like the kind you can walk into, like in freaking Hogwarts. And they're tall enough. I mean, yeah, it could be. Well, whatever. Oh, I'm magical. I'll make a fire. It's whatever. Um. Mm -hmm. And then sit crisscross applesauce in front of the <laughs> fireplace. Okay. Pull out my necklace uh, with the tears of Kostuth on it. And... Mm. Mm. I know what I'll do. I will, I'll take the necklace off. And I will, like, place the actual pendant in the fire. In, like, in the flames... With the with the chain kind of hanging down onto the like the the half, Thanks. and then I'll, I'll I'll sit and just like concentrate on it really fucking hard, you know. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and as you do that, uh, your your the fire kind of begins to grow, go kind of wild, and the flames increase in size, and. You just kind of feel your con your, your like your consciousness being snatched from your body, Bruh. and you see yourself kind of like traversing through the fire, leaving your physical body behind, and you appear in this large, uh, like like brass uh, throne room. You've seen this room before, um, uh, in other visions that you've had with uh, with yeah. Suth. He's sitting on the throne, and he's in his full like elemental fireman form, wearing this like 
armor with the entire like all of his limbs and his head is all made of just pure flame that have personified into the shape of a of a humanoid essentially and he's sitting on his throne and you can see he looks a lot more well he's always been a very serious and kind of like stern looking individual but that has amplified he he seems a lot more troubled than last time you met okay it's good to see you davian Likewise, I think, although given the things I've heard, um, I'm not really sure what the state of things are in the Plane of Fire, but... Uh... Oh, let's just say that the moment dragons decided to attack your plane, your city, that same exact time the Butcher decided to attack mine, so it's been busy. But the world, well, not, she's not attacking the city. My forces are keeping her at bay at a safe distance, but things have been busy these last 12 hours. All the more reason we... for you and your friends to hurry up, get over here. Right. Unless you've forgotten note... that that was something that you were instructed to do. Oh, no, no, we were absolutely, that's, that's the plan. That's the next step. We just don't know how. Well, um, a couple of things you can do, but probably the easiest for you, given that you have my tears, your possession, is just tell me that you want to come over and open up a portal for me. Oh, and everyone will be able to pass through that. Yes, just make sure that they bring their beach clothes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what we are working on right now. Also, you will be safe in the city. We're keeping the butcher busy. But there is something that you should know about uh -oh. the butcher. Oh, my God. She's ancient, older than ancient. She was one of Tiamat's first generals back in the original war, and well, she's still kicking around. And that's even for a dragon that is exceptional to grow that old. Reports came back from the battlefield, and it seems that she has become more monstrous. It seems that Tiamat has mutated. She draws strength from the other four generals, the other four dragons, making it that she can channel all of their powers when she fights. But the theory is, kill the other generals, you won't be able to channel those powers anymore. So the plane of fire might just be a sort of brief pit stop. For us, before we fuck off to fight some of the... To have yes. some matters to discuss, I have to um, inform you of some things that I'd rather do in person, and for this next step on your journey to become my champion, the only way I can infuse you with more powers is by physically being in the same room with you, which requires you to pay a visit. I've also caught wind of Rumble and these dragons being aware of the council that we're supposed to have. But that is put on hold until after the dragons are dealt with. Or at least some of them. Very least. Okay, well that buys us some time, I suppose. Well, yes, it seems that this war behind the scenes has now evolved into full open war on multiple across multiple realms so having all the leaders eat in the same spot seems a bit stupid it's asking to get ambushed but we're not doing that until at least some of the dragons dealt with well i won't take up any more of your time while you're embroiled in a a war literally but i will let you know as soon as we're ready to uh 
transport for the city of brass yeah that sounds good um one more thing i want to ask you yeah that tiefling you're with yeah given Uh, given the nature of the prophecy uh, we've already seen it shift and change considerably it seems like it's not well <laughs> despite quite literally being set in stone uh, it <laughs> seems like maybe it isn't quite set in stone it's possible to alter one's destiny yes just wanted to make sure. Do I your judgment do I trust is him? It, Your judgment here know. is 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 key. If you say he won't be a problem, I'll believe you. But if he turns out to be a problem, that'll be your neck. If there's any inkling that he might become a problem. You'll be the first to know. Um, more thing I want to say. Been a lot of things. Um, and I just can't think of it. So when I do, I'll let you know. Okay. There's a lot going on right now. But yes. Whenever you're ready to, to, to pay a visit, just let me know. All range transportation. I, uh, yeah, I've got things to do. I need to make sure that the battle with this weird, mutated red dragon going well. Hmm. Also, now that I think of it, That friend of yours, or that person you uh, you met, the uh, the Agnasi. Sai was his name. Oh yeah, yes, Sai. How did did he mention did... that? It's one of the was your friend guess his father that turned him into what he is. Spoiler alert, in parentheses, he did. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> definitely brought that up. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the place he was turned is the same place that the blue dragon you're supposed to encounter is currently hiding in. So perhaps try and find a way to, even though your Aganasi friends are both unavailable, try and see if you can find a way to contact Mrs. Dad. You might have some information. Prove useful. Yeah. All right. Find a way to contact Rusmu. Oh no, the other one. Oh wait. Hi. Find a way to contact. Hold on. You just said to find a way to contact Kess's dad. Mhm. Mm yeah. Not granddad. Is Rusmu granddad? Yeah. Yeah. Blue uh... is granddad. Blue slash Rusmu is granddad. What the fuck's the dad called? I always forget what her dad's name is, I'll be honest. He's forgettable. What the fuck? <laughs> Rude. I, Bell. I mean, he's about to be Go real. Ahead, I don't... Mr. Kesslin. Sounds a bit gay. Fuck off. Like, my oh, internet God. died while Dutch was saying oh. whatever happened. It's so, just... I oh, oh. And like, so you should contact him. I'm like, what? His name is need... slightly darker shade of blue. <laughs> That's Dr. Blue. My dad's Mr. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Blue. Um, Sai was Captain made in Blue? the same place where that dragon, where the Cat blue dragon is. This is where. Okay, yeah. that's where Sai was made in Egnassi by Kess's dad. That's yep. what you meant. Oh, okay. Fun fact that is also where um, Kisaren's dad was turned into Egnassi. Isn't that crazy what how that off? happens? 
That's wild. That's huh? crazy. It's almost yeah, what's like... she doing nowadays, huh? <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> Yo, <I'm pretty> <laughs> Say what? Uh, oh. I'm crazy. I don't like this. There's too many. There's too many tie-ins. <laughs> Why do you think he's starting a new All these air elemental three? types, Ganassi and Jinns being made in the same place? Wonder where that's happening. Me? That, that, that's not on purpose, guys. That's a, that's a coincidence. Like <laughs> right, yeah. I'll um, just be in touch. Let me know. And we'll uh, pick things up then. All right, best of luck. You reckon you're up for it? For what? Placing down five dragons, killing them one by one. I mean, we've killed one of the big bads from down under. I think we can start Australia. With <laughs> All right. Good. Because if you d wouldn't have believed in yourself, that's a guarantee you'll feel. Now that you say you do chance and i'll make sure to provide you with some boons to hopefully turn the tides in your favor on that note i suppose i'll be in touch yeah sounds good and he gets up from his throne and you can see him completely turn just kind of this like tornado of fire that disappears in that moment, you kind of feel yourself being ripped out of this plane of existence and you're shoved back in your body as you kind of sit there in front of the fireplace. Mm -hmm. And you can, see, you can kind of hear <laughs> behind you just. Painfully, you alright? As Hilda just kind of stands there with this like tray of, of, of like, so, like this like uh, this like tray of, of with a bowl of like freshly mm -hmm. baked cookies and, and some, some like a cup of tea. <laughs> I, Neil, I, I, I heard you enter and I didn't want to impose, but I figured that a little something and you were kind of focused, so I just didn't want to intrude, but right? Uh, I will be after some tea and cookies, I'll tell you that much. Oh. Thank you very much. Now leave me to my lotions. <laughs> <laughs> leave oh, what you must have to my wall and I'll lotion out to the kitchen. Hmm. Um, Stag can do anything. Um, I'm just being Jax's assistant all day with fixing oh yeah. the thing. We'll say that Jax will have come back and you guys are beginning to tinker. Um, city shopping boys. Hello. You want to go to a bookstore? Yes, please. I should probably, I'll switch you on, but at some point that the, they'll get the get a knock on the door from the fucking enchanter guy. Yeah, um, we'll say that. Um, about an hour into your tinkering adventures, uh, Jax, mm -hmm. uh, there's a knock on the door and an enchanter rocks up to do the enchanting side Shit. of things. All right, so Hell good. yeah. Um, I'm not going to specifically go out of that way, but like, if there's a jewelry store or a jeweler on the way, I'd pop mm -hmm. my head in. To sell your pearls? Yeah. Uh, how many do you have? Three worth uh, 200 gold each. Uh, roll persuasion check? Persuasion, I'm good at this. For the sake of gravity. Don't fuck me, That girl. one. Nat 20. Fuck you, Soko. Yeah, you get the full 600 for it. A nat... Oh. <laughs> Fair. Like, yeah, that means he's yeah. not going to make any That's profit. That's the best outcome. Like, yeah. He's, yeah, he's buying them at cost price because he likes me so much. No, like. he's buying them at retail price. From you. And he is the retailer. Right. He's <laughs> buying them at retail. Yeah, but he'll put them in something. Maybe. Maybe not. <clears throat> uh, Is buying a retail price like really good. You can't hit me with the yeah. you rolled a nat twenty. Yeah, that's for you. For you guys, that's really good. Yeah, that's really yeah. perfect. Yeah, you, you misvalued the pearls, and that one of them is actually worth like a million. Okay, nice try. No, Maybe I, next time. I, no, okay, thank you. <laughs> Maybe next time. It's good. Um, um, wait for Kobe to get back. I guess. <laughs> I guess. If someone spoke with me outside my door, and then as, as he leaves the room, <laughs> <laughs> can I have some? Can I, we'll get, roll can, for I, can I get that in platinum instead of gold? Yeah, a, jewelers have will have platinum, platinum laying around because they sell expensive shit. So yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Having a nosebleed. 
Oh no! Oh, no, stop pissing blood! God damn it! Oh, it's Remember, I didn't know it was that time of the month. It's yeah. because the last one met a woman. I met a fucking toss to two women, and she touched my hands, bro. God, you okay. And you had a um, so a you, you eventually okay, find your way to a bookstore. Uh, yep. And as we're walking, I'm just like, so the whole gun thing. It's between us, right? That secret is kept with me as long as I need to use it. So yes, because I'm not. That's fair. You know. I'll be honest, it, it's only if Jack starts, you know, really going off on me, I might have to distract him with something, okay? So if it comes out, it comes out. But I'm I mean, not going to tell him on purpose. But if I need to lay away his... That's his... fair on the grounds that if I think we're going to die, I'll swap sides. Okay. Oh, that's has to be huh? fine. I've, that, that's okay. fine, Brooks. I've already got my contingency plan to get rid of you. Right. That's absolutely fine. Is he is he joking? Mm. What, Lazarin? Roll the fucking insight check if you want. <laughs> Mr. DM, is he joking? I don't know, this is all clever, man. I don't understand. Uh, that's a six. <laughs> oh, a six thing? I might roll now. Oh, hey, man. That one's a hard man to read. Damn. I mean, it's a six. Like, does he want me to believe it or not? Your nose starts bleeding as well. Yeah. Uh, you... Hmm. Is he Hold joking? On. He's not... You don't think he's joking. He's quite serious. <laughs> well, you don't have plans to kill everyone in the party? He's uh, last time he healed me. Okay, he Batman. Cut me open. He filled my intestines with remote explosive, <laughs> and then cure wounds it back up. I just start like this button here. I've got so button whenever, whenever my spider right. cleans your like cures your wounds, it just puts explosives inside. Exactly. Um. So you eventually yeah, make your way to a bookstore, and uh, oh, yeah. the bookstore doesn't have any like like large like shop um signs or anything. But there is in the window, small kind of like in memoriam uh, oh, no. of, a, of a certain gnomish man. There's like a drawing of the gnomish man, and then there is also still like the remnants of one of his big blue bully wanted posters kind of stuck on there. <laughs> um, uh, do you enter? I do enter. Yeah, and as you enter, there's a, a younger looking, uh, also a gnome, a younger looking gnome, maybe like like very young adult. Very young. Uh, he's thick, like very small, round, but very thick lenses in his like spectacles, kind of like lean on his nose. It's very frizzy brown hair. Um, wearing this like this 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 the kind of like button up plaid shirt and and some 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 pants that kind of match with it. And just kind of like approaches you and. Hello, welcome to. What can I do for you? You you looking for a book to read, books to buy, books to borrow? No books to buy. No, I'm um, just doing a little bit of research. Um, okay. Just sort of looking into the you know play the plane of fire. Um, Ooh. see if you've got anything about um travel, travel to and from there. You know, just just general um, plane hopping. How would you want to go there? That's crazy talk. It's it's theory. I'm doing a. a I, scholarship, it's, you know, I'm just, oh, it's a theory. What, what university yeah. do you, are you are you attending? Um, it's a, uh, a, a University of Aldalon. It's a new upstart there. They are. Uh, oh, I haven't heard, I haven't heard that. Really? It's no, so it's, it's it's still in, it's still in its groundwork. It's still like, you know, first year, very much like not. Okay. Um, I've always planned to visit uh, the new continent, but. Uh, I'd give it a little bit of value. I, suddenly I, I got ownership of this shop. Well, it wasn't a shop when I took over, but then again. Want to make money? I'm gonna to have to sell things. My dad didn't really believe in that, but uh, but I do, mm. um, because I'd like to live somewhat comfortably. Um, anyway, I digress. Um, so books on the the plane of fire. Yeah, that would be okay. Just um, let me think because oh, well, I don't know anything. If I have anything specifically on on travel to. But I, I, I mean, I, just about extra plane of travel would be helpful. The elemental planes, and then kind of the roughly that would be. what they're like, and then their layout, and, and that, key points of interest you you might find in those planes. That would be absolutely perfect. You know, something like that, just a little guide, you know, just just anything really, you know. We're... All right, yes, I have a, I have a copy of uh, the Book of the Planes, which, which kind of covers oh. all the elemental planes. Uh, uh, so basically, the way it was written was stories derived from from, from elemental beings that, that 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 you know like like 
the Nasi mainly, and some some jinns and Efriti and, and and things of those uh, beings of those sorts that uh, cool. told the tale. So take it with a little grain of salt, because um, I well we, we can't really fact check it unless we go visit. But uh, this is as good as authority as as you're gonna get. I I I think because these planes are. Not quite as frequently visitors as, let's say, the Hells or the Feywild, for instance. I mean, you know, just uh, that would be perfect. I'd say it's only a. Um, we're sort of doing many levels, but just like the entry sort of level at the moment, you know, it's mainly more like a teaching aid more than anything else. You yes, know, of course, so. of course, of course. Um, okay, yes, uh, that'll run you about uh, three gold for that book. Yep, I'll pay three gold. Anything else you're looking for? Um, no, that is just absolutely perfect, you know. Okay, very good. Just great. Well, pleasure doing business. Yep, fantastic. Now, and, just uh, sit. if you ever need anything else uh, for, for your scholarship or maybe one of your classmates needs something, send them my way. Absolutely, I, I absolutely will. You know, recommend it straight away. You'll be the number one spot for the uh, university. I really Lodron. appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> go, 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 snakes, you know. There, you know that, that you know, wizard duel team. Oh, no, you you do that here. Oh, it's well, we do. Just, just <laughs> haven't heard of the snakes. It seems like a bit of an. It's a new one, you know, because ah. you know with the jungles up. Just I, a... You're not interested that type of thing. I'll just get on to my reading. I'm actually very Chip. interested, but uh, if you're if you're interested, oh well, then... well, you know, I'm really busy. I got to do this research. Okay, okay, You look like you're about to pop a blood vessel. Calm down. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I like how it's that obvious, and I was just super stressed. If <laughs> I have a copper piece for every random shopkeeper that it told you to calm down today, I have two copper pieces. Which is That's a lot. Doesn't it seem like a lot, to be honest. If you don't mind me butting in, but uh, you, no, you, I, uh, when you started saying that, it seemed like you would have had a lot, and I, um, so two is not a lot. I like to th allows and still He's... thinks he is like keeping completely cool and like isn't stressed out at all. <laughs> but he has a nosebleed. Yeah, well, no, Koiba had a nose because I got f f fucking damaged nose or some shit, apparently. If Koiba dies, Elazarin dies. If Koiba has a nosebleed, Elazarin has a nosebleed. Hey. Oh, what? You, uh, um, you heading out? Uh, I'm just gonna fucking read the book there. <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay. I was yeah. just gonna be like, cool, this is really important, I gotta go, and just sits on the table and just flicks the fire playing. <laughs> cool, fuck all there. <laughs> cool, fuck all Um, okay, so. How much time are you spending reading through like the, the fire plane chapter? Real minimum amount of time that'll take me to like find fire plane. Maybe where it says like portal well, there is to an index that's plane. like plane of fire. But like, how Dark. much of the fire plane are you willing to read right now? If I can get a map of it, I'll mm -hmm. try and find that on pages. But like, okay, um, make it investigation. I'm not spending long. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. I was in like twenty minutes to thirty minutes okay. tops. Make a make, like, a make an investigation. Like I ain't. Man, it's just skimming. I'm doing a little skimming. See if there's anything like super neat. Uh, you say investigation. It's mm. twenty five. Twenty five. Jesus. Okay. Uh, you kind of skim through it, and and you learn that uh, the amount of fire is uh, you know, naturally very warm. Who'd have thought? Um. You also learn of some points of interest. You, you learn of the City of Brass, and, and that, that is where uh, Kosuth, the current elemental lord that is in charge of the Fire Plane, uh, resides, uh, along with his army of Afrit, which is uh, which you read about, which is basically the, the, the fire version of, of, of jinns and jinnies, um, but the fire elemental version of those creatures. You also know that uh, a lot of other creatures that are native to the Elemental Plane of Fire are quite nasty. Uh, you learn that there are some particularly strong dragons that, that reside there. Uh, you also read a little bit about something called a Pyrohydra, which is a hydra, but it spits fire. Um, okay. those, are, those are a thing. Um, <clears throat> you learn something about uh, an elemental creature known as an Azer, A Z E R, which are these humanoids with uh, humanoids in shape, but their hair and beard are made of complete just flames. Um, cool. And you also learn that there's uh, these reptilian-looking humanoids down there, kind of 
you want tea like like the more snake like you want you want tea but these are called fire salamanders and they're basically fire versions of, of the more snake like you want tea those alpha pots in it um and uh those are just quick things that you learn like oh that that lives there uh, as far as transportation goes um you know obviously the usual suspects like uh like a plane shift and that sort of thing would work um as far as like natural gateways there's not much there um all you learn is that there are gateways but they are very well hidden and very well guarded um, former volcano cool got it <laughs> yes <laughs> um that is it as far as transport goes there's not much there nice uh yeah that's cool i will um leave I'm like, cool, time we go, Brooks. And as I close the door, I'm just going to put the book on the floor outside and just kind of leave it on the doorstep and just I will go. I will book back up without him noticing. Fuck you, do I know? I'm not looking for I don't give a fuck. I'm putting it down, <laughs> just going, don't need this anymore. Don't need this. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so are you guys heading back to, uh... hell yeah, the Guild Hall? Gang's all here. Gang's all here. All right. So you all kind of meet up again uh, in the in the guild hall. Um, for the first time, uh, we'll say that a few hours have passed. Uh, you know, getting closer and closer to uh, when you're supposed to meet with uh, the Empress at her uh, abode. Um, anything you'd like to discuss with each other before that happens? Can I just cast exposition? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he let everybody know. We'll be able to travel to the Plane of Fire as soon as we're ready. Oh. For a portal. Uh, your mic is doing... We're the, not going to fuck the, with the dragon. The mic is mic doing some fuck. wild things. Duke is currently a warforged. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're understandable, but it's like... Yeah. It's almost like... Remember when we used to play Apex, Duke? And your mic would just do some weird shit when you had Apex launched? It's, 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 it's almost like you've got a vocoder on. Wait. Is, is it good? okay now? Yeah. 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 better. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go to the plane of fire through a portal. We're not gonna fuck with the dragon. Uh, you know, we gotta kill the other dragons before the big dragon's gonna be spooky. That's pretty much it, right? That's like, that's really all that's sure. important. Oh, Sai, Kess's dad. You know, all you, that stuff. you all heard it. You um, all heard it. Well, that helps off from what I read, because I read there was, like, no real good way to get to the plane of fire, so, honestly, mm, makes so much sense. I kind of learned fuck all. Like, I learned there's some dangerous creatures and shit, but we knew that. Like, we knew there was going to be bad. But, like, a pyro yeah, well, sounds pretty awful. Well, the man in charge is the best way to get there. So. You, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Like, I mean, I'm shocked he replied to you. <laughs> in a Damn. so candidly way. That's fucked up. Well, because it's so difficult for me to talk to, like, my god, right? So, like, it's kind of just fucked. <laughs> okay, you're a loser. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> really long. Don't be, like just... Don't be like that, Elijah. Come what on, What do you mean? Man. No, no, you're, no, no, you're, you're right. <laughs> You've got to give it back or it just feels bad. <laughs> what? But, Daphne, you've been any... Just, you know, such a... Heroic man of all time, you know. I'm surprised there isn't such with me here, to be honest. Well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well, how are you not so yeah. well known already? You know, Bards will be singing about what you do for years to come. None of it good though. Fucking hell, it'd be all your fails. Oh, that's how you f name a fail. You failed on a well. Literally, like third day I met you. <laughs> First day. No, I've known him for two days beforehand. <laughs> So, I mean, that's one. <laughs> that's fucked. That's I mean, oh, fuck, I mean, we should just fuck. How many times you shout at your bird for being useless? And, like, that's your pet, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that's not fail. Yeah. <laughs> bad ownership to me. Anyway. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> yes. Like... So, I spoke to Kosu, all right? When was the last time you spoke to Joaquin, all right? Stupid bastard. <laughs> like two days ago. You really tried. You really tried early, didn't you? Couldn't do it. I could try right now, but I don't know what I want to wish for. 
Gavian's world peace. Yeah, world <laughs> divine peace. I would like to solve world hunger, please. Just wish for the red dragon to be a dead. A peace, please, mummy. Yeah. Gold? Uh, Joaquin ain't solving world hunger. She ain't doing shit for free. <laughs> I was going to say, not free. for free. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah, it should be for fucking free. Solve I solve world hunger. hunger. However, All the world economy the world is now gone. There is no gold on the material plane. Anyway, I'm um, distracted. Right, oh, so, Jax. <laughs> yes. Um, well, you know, it was, you know, the first of many checks when it comes to your tinkering thing. Take oh, me yeah. on a tinkering check. Are With advantage, because I'm helping? Sure. Yay! Um, That's a good thing you said that. Hey! When we're back yes. from shopping, I'll go Hold help on. as well. I'm going to soak first. Say, uh, so uh, that's 27. Yeah, no, you're fucking, you're, you're fine, dude. And, and Daigon is kind of helping you, um, you know, paying attention to the smaller details and, and making you aware of them. I'm handing him stuff. Thing and making sure. It's very important. That, uh, no small oversights, uh, uh, sneak up on you. And the Enchanter also shows up and begins kind of, while you're working on the part, you know, the parts that you are finished with. He'll begin to, to, for the sake of time, he'll begin to immediately begin enchanting. Say say you start with the legs, for instance. Once those are finished, mm. he'll immediately begin uh, enchanting that part right. and kind of work his way up as you work your way up as well. Gotcha. Um, dope, dope, dope. Um, yeah, what's that, Ethan? I was going to say, when we're back from shopping, I will go help Jax. Mm -hmm. And I will also give him uh, 35 platinum and say that that was what was left. For my shopping. Okay. What do I do? Um, and with that, um, you hear uh somebody else enter downstairs, uh, and it is uh Tranliel, and she's coming to collect you to go visit the Empress for a little bit. Um, and she'll tell you uh that you can. Uh, she'll suggest to you to kind of leave the Enchanter to do his thing here while you are away, because the place you're going isn't exactly public access. Um, and I think we'll pick this up next week. Uh, yeah. We're all gonna die. So we had like Hope so. the, 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 the calm before the storm session a little bit. Uh, starting to kind of put a plan together of how to go forward and we'll see, we'll see what happens next week. We really got time. Plane of dragon fire! Dragon. Plane of fire! Oh, yeah. It's gonna be next session, boys. Damn. Oh, gross. Alrighty. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Chat, thanks for watching as well. Uh, thanks Dicaro, for hanging thanks with our shopping episode. We appreciate you. I'm yeah. so sorry. I want a waffle in need... uh, this sesh, but uh, as is long. <laughs> we've not had a good no, waffle sesh for a while. Sometimes you just gotta do it. And we've had very few of these sessions that are in our 82 this is our campaign, beach non-beach so. episode. I'll be honest, there's been a few sessions where our characters have actually had like, oh, we got two days to relax. That isn't like instantly with, by the way. <laughs> Gary. Um, yeah, but we'll be back here next week. Um, oh, I won't be here next week because I'm away at a, for a, a friend's wedding, but y'all okay. can play. Fuck yeah. That. Lads, 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 lads. <laughs> Fucking Bell comes back this session and did that next session. <laughs> <laughs> Ruins everything. Ruins lads oh, night. Oh, basically a you saying that that will ruin it will make her want to come back next week. That's what I'm saying. I have always said that I wanted Bell back. I didn't say I wanted her back forever. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for playing, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll be back next week. Bye-bye. Later. Bye.